live from Austin, Texas with RP in the coffee. It's Retro Pals with Danny and Alex. <laughs> Hello, Alex. Hello, Danny. Were you planning that as the intro for a while? Uh, I guess so. It just sort of came to me. Mostly because, like, I once you announced we were going to play Deadly Premonition, I was like, I know exactly what my tweet's going to be. It's going to be RP in the coffee. And oh, that's where so... I stole it from. Yeah, okay. Oh, you stole it from me? <laughs> oh, that's cool. That happens, though. Circular creativity yes. here at Retro Pals. <laughs> Hi, everybody. It's good to be back. We took a week off. I needed to have some teeth pulled, but that's behind us. The teeth are gone. They won't hurt anyone anymore. Danny did. Danny just healed amazingly. I just want to say everyone give a shout out to Danny's mouth for healing very well. And as part of the healing process, in addition to everyone being extremely nice to me tonight, we're going to play one of my favorite games, Deadly Premonition. Uh, This is a game I played through a bunch of times. It's been a while since the last playthrough, so it may be a little rocky to start, but in the end, I think you'll like this one. This is essential coverage for Retro Pals, as far as I'm concerned. (laughs) Hope you've all been doing good. It's been a nice spooky month. I've enjoyed all the uh, various pumpkins and ghosts I've seen around. (laughs) Hi, we're here. Hi, it's us. Oh, it's back to streaming time. It was nice having a vacation in the dentist chair, but uh, nope, we gotta get back to work. (laughs) My favorite part about the dentist office was how there were five different audio sources going all at once at all times. Yeah, I hate being outside. (laughs) Yeah, it fucking sucks. (laughs) Nice to be inside with here, uh, here with my friends and my video games. That's where everything is. Why even bother going outside? That's the Retro Pals uh, slogan. Why even bother going outside? Why even bother? Alex, why don't you thank some folks? Thank you to Sepasai19 for the 62 month resub. 62! Thank you, thank you. 62? Thank, thank you. Thank you, Cambrian Era. 57 month resub with a beautiful ga there. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for the 8 month resub, Atelier Zeno. Looks like 8 months of subs in the coffee. Clear as a crisp spring morning. <laughs> it's true. Thank you. Thank you all, Hail Magambo, for the 53 month resub. I heard the gummy like is going to come back in style. It will never. The no gum. Oh, licorice. the gum I like. I the- thought you said the gummies I like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah the... those have been out of style for years no one sells warheads anyway warhead they made warhead gummies i don't know that sounds amazing they still make warheads by the way and really no problems for the 73 month reset do you feel it zach the blessing of cookie it's happening mm-hmm. 73 months thank you thank you jamie vx for the 33 month reset has it been 33 of your earth months already it has i think thank so you. i've been looking at the moon it seems to be about 33 months thank you thank you rocket city rando 16 month reset appreciate that very much thank you thank, thank you, you so much thank you vagrant wastrel 55 month reset that's a lot of months thank you that's so many freaking months thank you nanaki amana for the 35 month the resub this is illegal you know <laughs> it's true everything we do here on twitch is illegal <laughs> thank you yaddle 46 month the resub welcome back danny congrats on losing some tooth weight yeah yeah they cut nice. a lot of yeah, weight yeah thank you yeah yeah i'm i'm looking at this as a, a long-term solution to weight loss i'm glad <laughs> someone you. else noticed thank you electric boogaloo funk 25 bit donation this game i hope this game is a mr jackpot's equivalent we'll see we'll see and thank you saint asper team 32 month resub no don't want to die <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Some people here have played this game before, mm-hmm. or at least seen it in a, a long play or a let's play, God forbid. This game was popular in the era of let's plays. Uh, first of all, before I say anything else, we got to acknowledge super great friends, landmark let's play of this game. Mm-hmm. It's fantastic. It is very highly recommended. You know how long ago this game came out? How this long? game was released 13 years ago. Whoa, spooky. A couple weeks ago on Friday the 13th. We asked our patrons to vote for one of two games released 13 years ago that uh, that we should play all the way through. It was a really spooky time, let me tell you what. This mm-hmm. is how it turned out. Both of these games would make great Retro Pals playthroughs. They were released 13 years ago. They cover similar subject matter. And most important of all, there are two games that I really, really want to share with Alex. Mm -hmm. And I think y'all made the right choice. Deadly Premonition, by far one of my favorite games. It's in my top 100 list somewhere. I think it's in the top 10 even. Heavy Rain, not in my top 100. Very far away from my top 100, but it's also a very funny game. And I figured that would make a great playthrough too. But uh, Democracy demands that we play Deadly Premonition. Thank you, Democracy. Thank you, Democracy. Thank you. It's like that Game Genie ad that said, thank you, Canada. (laughs) (laughs) So there's a lot to say about this game. Mm -hmm. Ideally, I do want to do a full playthrough of this. No idea what the schedule is going to look like for that. I'd like to finish this up by Thanksgiving or failing that at least Christmas. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. This will take several streams, and I gotta admit, in case you're unaware, this game has a notoriously slow start. But it does open up, it does become worth it, and I think if you invest the time, you also might enjoy Deadly Premonition as much as I do. Yeah, you just might. So Alex, why don't you switch over to the Deadly Premonition scene? Okay. Thank you, Hexagon Wish 49 month resub. Happy Wednesday, pals. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, remember Ignition Entertainment? No. The people who brought you El Shaddai. Well, El that's it for them. <laughs> and then they El Shaddai. <laughs> Look, I just had a tooth pulled. My my humor receptors are not yet uh, fully honed for stream. God, I love this game. This is so fucking cool. For reference, this is the original Xbox 360 version. No director's cut. No PC release. No Switch Origins port. The original and the best, as far as I'm concerned. Also, it looks like a fucking Dreamcast game. <laughs> it sure does! I love oh. how this game looks. Games don't need to look any better than this. I'm with you! Oh. Yep. <laughs> yeah. As for me, I mentioned I played through this a few times, so I know basically everything about this but alex has only ever seen the first few hours so <laughs> everything here will be a surprise to him and maybe to some of you watching this for the first time I it's dangerous to run around here boys grandpa hurry hurry grandpa up. you're too slow <laughs> eat shit grandpa grandpa Thank you, I asked 100 bit donation. Thank you. Ah, being the only person who had a <laughs> pre order at the local GameStop on release day. Nice. I had this pre ordered too. <laughs> I had no idea what to expect. I was just like, a $20 Xbox 360 game that, that looks like a simple 2000 game? I'm fucking in. And then I played it, and I was like, oh my god. 13 years from now, I need to share this with the world. Is what I thought. I love this game's aesthetic. I love this. It's so good. This game could not have been made at any other time in history. It spent like 10 years in development across multiple platforms. It barely met the, the finish line with release, and due to a miscommunication, they released it for $20. It was supposed to be a full price game. It, it was? Yeah. <laughs> this is way more game than $20. I mean, I know that $20 seems too cheap for this game, but... Well, also, it's a little spooky, so... Okay. Be aware. Is there a nudity in this game? Nope. No, no Rolo needed. He's not even here on the scene. Okay. Yeah, I noticed that. I don't like that. I, I need my, I need my security Rolo. So this game is heavily inspired by Twin Peaks, correct? Supposedly, I've never seen it. I've only seen a little Twin Peaks. I've seen the first episode, so. The first episode of Twin Peaks has two guys barking at each other. It's pretty cool. Nice. Yeah, like literally barking, like dog style. It's cool. They should make a game out of that. They should! Just guys bark while well, they do. It's called VR Chat. Commentary from one of those flowers in Super Mario Wonder. Oh, 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 the illumination flowers? I... Is she okay? <laughs> well, that happened. <sighs> oh, the shimmering landscape. So Dreamcast, I love it. <laughs> yeah. Oh. 
Kaboom, I was going to say it. I'm glad you filled in the, the blank there. Pregnant with meaning. There's a lot to take in at first. It is. It's fine. <laughs> but it'll all come together. I like that this is different. <laughs> different from what we usually play? Well, di well, no, we play weird shit, but like... Yeah, where's the pixels? What? Polygons? Oh, the music in this game. It's this will, good. This will be stuck in your head forever. It's good, but also there's like 10 tracks. <laughs> That's what makes it good, though. Devil Ray, thank you for the 74 months! 74! Thank you! And thank you to Swery for directing this. Thank you, Swery. Okay, so... First of all, something very important in this game. Okay. Audio. I've set this to stereo output. You should be able to hear things correctly. We've had issues with this in the past. If the audio sounds doubled or far away or distant, the song kind of sounds like that anyway. Sorry. <laughs> but if anything sounds weird, let me know and I'll try to adjust the audio. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I want this to be a perfect experience for everybody. Where nothing goes wrong ever. And this is a full playthrough with no deaths, a damageless 1cc. It has been a while. I gotta admit that it has been a while. But I'll be able to sink into this soon enough. Cruel production what needs to be on. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've never heard blood described like that as cruel production. <laughs> now, I've done a playthrough before on normal. I debated trying for a hard mode playthrough, but I don't want to push myself too hard. And plus, repeating stuff in this game kind of sucks, so for the sake of Having a watchable playthrough, let's do it on easy. Okay. No differences in the gameplay or the endings, as far as I know. I just want to enjoy the story. You can play it using the default equipment. That's my preferred way to do it. Every game, if you can't beat it with the default equipment, I say fuck it. I'm actually kind of like that. It's it's disgusting. I was gonna say, is that why you've never played Fortnite? Yeah, I only play Final Fantasy with uh, all daggers and tunics. <laughs> There's gotta be some freak who does that, and I support them. Tunic percent. A picture buying this game sight unseen 13 years ago, just based on a few screenshots you see on Amazon. You get this in the mail. There's no discussion on the internet whatsoever about this. People are expecting the worst. Then you start to play this and you're like, I don't know what to think. Could you wait just a little longer? This won't take long. They sound, their faces. They sound vaguely French as a reference to Heavy Rain. Oh, Daddy, please buy me a balloon, Daddy. Heavy rain. We'll see heavy rain one of these days. It okay. won't be. It won't be this year. This this takes priority. We found a trading card of ourselves. Oh, we look handsome. How do we get our scars? Does it mention it? Uh, I think it comes up. Cool. You liking this kid speak? <laughs> Okay. In the in the original video pitch for this, when it was still called uh, Rainy Woods, these were literally two of the the little people guys from Twin Peaks. I was going to say <laughs> this is very much Twin Peaks. A lot a lot had to be swapped out at the very last minute. I I respect the copyright infringement. Who's Zach? There's a chandelier. Oh, there is a chandelier. Look at that bloom. That's cool. Mm. Do this on uh, Dreamcast. 
Was this game supposed to be on Dreamcast? It was supposed to be on PlayStation 2, so it may have conceivably been conceived for Dreamcast as well. It definitely has that look to it. I like that the only Xbox 360 type texture is his fucking coat, which is very well textured. It looks gorgeous. Look at all those folds and everything. I know, so much of this looks so good, and then some of it just looks like complete dog just shit. total shit. It's great. Might be useful for jackets and such. Uh, we're going to be playing this game across multiple streams. But we're oh, yeah. We're going to be doing a long play tonight, so. Doll shaped like a fat man. Played on it, which reads Washington State. Okay. There's one in Arkansas, too. There's a clock. Sorry to keep you waiting. It will start soon. It's about time to get started. I love readable subtitles. Me too. This game has taken me back in time in the best way. Zach. Remember when games were good? <laughs> Zach. It was 13 years ago the games were last good. It's me, York. If you can hear my voice, could you respond? I don't think we need to respond. Okay. He knows we're here. What's the matter? Ah, uh, we're just messing around. Good. I thought you went to sleep. Zach, don't be surprised. The crime took place out in the country this time. Let's take it slow. Okay. Country road trip! <laughs> I do remember enjoying driving in this game. I hope you like driving, because this game... <laughs> it's like 90% driving mm -hmm. for a good portion of it. Sure, that's one way of looking at it, but it's totally wrong. Woo! Woo! Listen, they both need each other. It's called interdependency, and they both know it. Yeah, I know. He does terrible things to Tom. Nasty, even sadistic things. But that's fine, as long as that's what Tom wants. Think about it. His actions. He's always asking for it. It's partner's job to fulfill that need, and Jerry knows that. Proof? Well, in the Tom and Jerry show, they live with each other. Hello? Hello? It's just the average conversation between me and Alex. Yeah, I... I... Interdependency, I Alex. The still can't get me a satellite phone. These puppies are making me go to another town in the boondocks again. Well, I'll be a happy camper, even if it ends up being a waste of time. At the very least, it'll get me out of the cramped city for a while. Right, Zach? Look at that ash! It realistically Perfect retreated up the cigarette. The case, very, very, very nice. Who'd have thought there'd be razors laced into your nails? Crazy. Police brand cigarettes, huh? <laughs> yep, only the best. I now have a scar to show off. You see this? I got this when I arrested the Catwoman wannabe. Well, now I know how I got a scar. You're crazy. Don't you agree, Zach? <laughs> so no smoking sticker on his uh, lighter. <laughs> this guy's a nut. He's wacky. Oh fuck, pre-rendered video loaded. <laughs> That's what squirrels sound like. Ooh, 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 ah! See, I'm, I'm a squirrel! When I say the 
this game is different. I mean, the most video games don't go off on a tangent about Tom and Jerry having a BDSM relationship. At least not in the first 10 seconds. Yeah, usually <laughs> they give you some time before that. Thank you, Single Play, 15 Mother Reset. What is this, a Grimes music video? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. No, oh, my 2011 laptop. Hmm. As long as the lighter works. That's good. Hmm. You ever stash away a cigarette uh, in your pocket? No, it make my pocket smell, <laughs> and then it would that get all messed up. Civilized world. Thank you, Fidget, for the fifty-three month resub. Thank you for fifty-three months. Look at that knife. Look at that knife. Man, how long has it been since I played this? I played all the way through the PS3 director's cut. So, however long ago that was, was the last time I played through this. I will say right off the bat, original 360 version is the way to play this. No other port, no other upgrade. <laughs> Just play the original 360 version. Save yourself the heartbreak. It's somehow gotten to gamers' brains that this was a very primitive and badly controlled game, but also this is just Resident Evil 4. <laughs> it controls the exact same way, so if you like Resident Evil 4, you'll be at home with this. I love how the, there are so many beautiful textures, and yet the textures on all of the land looks like fucking shit. Mm -hmm. It looks like Second Life, like 2006 textures are expected. First mission was accomplished. What's the run button of this? X? I'll come to grips with this again. Are we ever gonna see those wild monkeys we keep hearing? Yeah! It, it, what are those noises? Thank you, Electric Boot Blue Funk, for the 50 bits. Oh, yeah, it's, it is interesting that he is referencing the, the 70s show. I guess maybe the 70s show, you know, was gayer. The gayer Looks like Tom and Jerry. Welcomed. Zach, I'll let you handle the meet and greet. So like new Tom and Jerry, but gay Tom and Jerry. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. Like a little starburst on the logo that says gay. Yeah. <laughs> we, we need more logos to do that. Wherever this is, people haven't been here in a while. They should they should go there. It looks nice. I hear Greenvale's okay this time of year. It's probably fine. I don't like the blood. Hey, man. <laughs> well, you found a beef jerky dog, Danny. <laughs> Alright, here's a mini game we can play. Count the number of times this game uses Resident Evil style fixed camera perspective. It's something the game does frequently in the early game, and then they just completely forget about it. It's pretty awesome. Most of the time it controls like this. Just your average uh, stop-and-pop third-person shooter. Is that a phrase anyone has ever used before? I've, I was about to, to roast you for stop-and-pop, because I've never... I think you're thinking of the classic children's book Hop-on-Pop? That could be it, yeah. I've been in a real Hop-on-Pop mood. Oh yeah, that's a real good one. Real classic, uh... You hear about Horus? No, you gotta tell me after the stream. Okay. What's he been up to? We're navigating this Jurassic Park enclosure that's here for some reason. Is it to keep us in, or the T-Rex is out?
nice her. She's looking for canned anchovies. Let's think about it. Okay. And that's the end of that. <laughs> I like the purple blood. Yeah, it's cool. So you notice whenever he lands a headshot, he talks to himself to encourage, uh, to keep himself encouraged. It's like, great, marvelous, amazing, great shot. I like how positive he is. Here's what happens if you get grabbed by a guy. Oh, you got grabbed by the ghoulie! For some reason, they try to stick their arms down your throat. It's pretty gross. I think that's really nasty. Must be a local greeting. That's how they do it in Washington State. Just ask anybody in the Pacific Northwest, they're always shoving their hands and down each other's throats. <laughs> Y'all are freaks. Get your arm out of my throat. No way! That's just part of the local culture there. If you don't like it... The pickles. Oh, you were nice. right. That lady was looking for uh, canned pickles. Mm, okay, see, see? Here's uh, the pause and inventory screen, which is a little bit psychotic. <laughs> oh, it is. It's a lot to take in. It's very maximalist. A can of pickles will satisfy a small amount of your hunger. I ate a so, lot. So, chat, you're all intelligent. Do they put make pickles in tin cans? I, I've only seen pickles in jars. The pickles. Do they can pickles? You've got to can pack pickles, I guess. This is your currency. It's called Agent Honor. <laughs> your your currency is honor, huh? Yeah. We have to be an honorable FBI agent. That's how we get rich. Thank you, Repine. Twelve month Risa, that's a whole year. Thank you. That's a whole freaking year. Thank you. Oh, good. Time to get the whistle song stuck in my head for another five years. Yeah, enjoy. <laughs> oh, man. I've also seen pickles in pouches. I saw a big pouch of pickles at 7-Eleven the other day. It was massive. They sell pickles in pouches? Yeah. See, when you mentioned the whistle song... <laughs> I was thinking the DDR song, the Will My Whistle Baby. So directly. <laughs> but I know what you mean. Thank you, a sipper, Can Captain you give me a Pinch, logical How do you take your pickles? coffee, agents? I take mine with way too much creamer. Yeah, me too. Never mind, don't answer. Life is fun because of the mysteries. Right, Zach? A lot of people don't like pickles. Me included. I love pickles, but... I would not just scarf down a can of the pickles. You are, you are not a vin you are anti vinegar and I'm very pro vinegar so Remember payphones Opposites attract When saving your game used to be accessible to all now it's been locked off to the <laughs> the smartphone community You have to be able to afford the smartphone to save your game now it's Why did I say bad. the smartphone community but What does that mean hey that's a chupa chup but it doesn't it's I don't I'm pretty sure that's not an authorized chupa chup so that's pretty good This looks like a bridging area in a theme park to me. Am I wrong? Yeah, no, it looks like it. I could see this. This looks like a really long line you'd wait for Splash Mountain or something. Mm -hmm. And then play like some music in the speakers above. Hey, come here. Kaboom! Wow, you blew them the hell up. <laughs> yeah, it's a video game, so it's got explosive barrels in it. I mean, it's on 360. I don't think they let you pass cert unless you had at least one explosing, explosive barrel. Explosing. Sometimes there's stuff in crates. It takes an entire clip <laughs> to open a crate. I like that you have to shoot it. I like that you can't just, like, crowbar it or whatever. You could. Oh, really? So you're just showing off? You're doing this, like... The thing is, the melee weapons in this are very fragile. Fucking check this out. 
kill enemies like nothing. But if you'll notice the damage on my steel pipe, like it breaks after like five hits. Chat says canned pickles do exist. I don't know how I feel about that. They I'm do sorry. Exist. I'm a I'm a jar guy. <laughs> Cans just sometimes may make things taste metallic, and I'm like, no. Okay. We're seeing lots of arguments for both sides. Mm -hmm. So you may be able to tell this is kind of a goofy third-person shooter. Supposedly, these action segments were grafted on after the story was already developed in response to uh, either player or executive feedback. They were like, we wanted more action. And the people who made this were like, okay, we're going to spend five minutes making a whole bunch of action scenes just for you. <laughs> oh man, we can push! Watch out, I'm going to push it right into that barrier. Just you wait. Okay, here we go. There's going to be explosive results. So Chow wasn't joking when they said there were Sokoban elements in this game. Oh yeah, you push some crates in this for sure. Okay, okay. So it's a stop and pop and a stop and show. Oh, someone snuck up on me. I got stopped and popped. I'm really sorry, but the zombie noises are very funny. <laughs> yeah. They just sound like someone being like having a tummy ache. People were uh, scared of this game being too scary for them, and that's okay, but... In my opinion, this is not very scary. No, this is this is not scary. And At least I'm these very parts. Easily scared. That's why I don't go to Halloween events because it would be bad for everyone. I'd just be like, ah! That's too spooky. It is. I was watching a, a, a spooky TV show and it literally got too scary for me, so I turned it off. Wow. I know, right? Maybe was... this game will make you more uh, resilient. It was because the audio description was going too hard on the gory scene, and I was just like, I don't want to hear more of this. <laughs> They're going off. Like, shout outs to them. It was just, oh, cool band aids. Oh, this game was ahead of its time. It had a heart instead of a red cross. This game doesn't have to be edited and censored. <laughs> oh. The show was the Netflix Fall of the House of Usher. There was a scene where a bunch of people's skin melts off and the description was too much. <laughs> I I am just like afterwards I was like, I'm glad that's over. I'm not I'm I'm moving on to 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 playing Super Mario Wonder with Danny. And you did. We became and elephants. Mm -hmm, that was much more fun. We don't need to profile every time. Let's just keep that shit to ourselves. Okay. Thing is, it was a good show, and I think it's interesting, but I'm also like... Gross. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, gross. Oh, my steel pipe got bent. Oh no. It's okay, I have another one. Okay, cool. Hmm, whatever we're gonna do. Can you use cigarettes as an item? Yes, game? you can. They are an essential item. Good, good. Frappe, I have watched only the first three, four, maybe three episodes of the new season of Chucky. That's good. That doesn't scare me too much. That show is too... It's too gay to be that scary. <laughs> too, too gay to be scary. I mean it nice. It's gay in a good way. It's, it's very much like, man... It's one of the shows where I'm watching and I'm like, I'm glad gay teens have the Chucky series on their side. Chucky is ostensibly straight, but he is a queer ally in the TV <laughs> series. Ostensibly. We don't know! We don't know anything about Chucky's sexuality. Don't we? We... <laughs> Alex is having to think about it. <laughs> I, no, I mean... Ooh, didn't see you. As far as I remember, these sequences are pretty easy on easy mode. 
and later on they're going to become even easier once we do some side quests and unlock some weapons. I think this intro turned off a lot of people though, because it's so generic. <laughs> it, it really delivers nothing about what makes the game special or unique or worth playing. It's just like, it's a shitty action game sometimes because it has to be. That said, it's nothing unplayable. It's occasionally frustrating to lose your progress when you die suddenly, but... I love the audio design in this game, it's so psycho! Yeah, isn't it? It doesn't yeah. make a lot of sense. <laughs> like, it's just that the ladies are just saying, I don't want to die, very, very slowly, and it's, but it sounds like it was reported by, like, a office worker in mm -hmm. a closet. I love it. Ooh, that layered audio. Sounds good. A lot of people in this part, but you can just skip them, because okay. they endlessly respawn. It's one of these villager respawn areas. If you don't do that, you instantly die and have to go back to your last save. <laughs> Who is that guy? I don't know. We're probably not going to see him again. Fight him. red ivy they have around here. <laughs> hey BBH, welcome to a good game. Welcome. Fellow Deadly Premonition fan. Everyone's a Deadly Premonition fan, some of them just don't know it yet. Alright, so we got ghouls, uh, a broken generator, and like some Finds. Wow, we're extrapolating a lot from this. I found a dog! <laughs> Sweet, sugary candy. Would you have that instead of the pickles? Yeah. Yeah. There's definitely, definitely something, something in this town. town. Do you feel it, Zach? No, it felt normal. Oh. Yesterday, Yesterday morning, the milk, the milk I poured in my coffee, coffee made a sign. sign. It said, tomorrow you'll arrive in a place that will change your fate. Wow, it said a lot. Mine usually just looks like uh, coffee. Mine is usually like, mine tells me a vi mine gives me a premonition each time. That premonition is that I'm going to take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I call a deadly premonition. <laughs> <laughs> well, we made it through the first level. Okay. Some people consider that the worst part of the game, so it's all uphill from here. <laughs> there yeah. we go. Good. I'm, I'm glad, glad the alerts still work those. on this scene. Okay, good. It's good. essential. Well, uh, we kind of, we kind of totaled our car, so I guess we got a long walk ahead of us. I want to go to Greenvale. So, guys, what's with the the little zoo area where you keep all the ghouls? Yeah, I was gonna say. There's a fence and everything. What is that area, Danny? Am I going to find out more about that? Sure hope so. That's the gamer containment zone. <laughs> is that what gamers are like? Yeah. Don't kill me. See, that was a perfect impression because I'm a gamer. You, that's true. That's true. Don't want to die. Sorry, the voices are so funny to me. I love them. We gotta take a break. We have a stamina meter up there. It doesn't last long because we smoke. Hey, I don't think you should smoke. We have to. Smoking is so important in this. Games today are so afraid to make smoking a central gameplay mechanic. Yeah, I wonder why. Now you were very late. Lady, we almost died! I didn't think you'd keep me waiting in the rain for so long. FBI, FBI Special Agent, Agent Francis, Francis York, York Morgan. Morgan. Please, Please just, just call me York. York. That's what everyone calls me. Agent York? I think he's hearing this music in his head. Mm -hmm. Are you the sheriff? Uh, no, I'm Deputy, Deputy Sheriff Emily Wyatt. George, he's the sheriff. 
He went looking for you, actually. He should be back soon. I see. If you don't mind me asking, did you walk all the way here? Oh, you know it. Car broke down, that's all. Kind of understated that, but... <laughs> just, a, just a little fender bender. She's easy on the eyes. Definitely worth a trip to the primitive world. But hey, what did you mean by that? About what the primitive way? She'll think you're a psycho. I can hear what you're saying. Don't want that, do we, Zach? Welcome, Welcome to Greenvale. I'm the I'm sheriff, sheriff, George, George Woodman. Woodman. Call me George. He kind of looks like Danny Trejo. A little bit. Like a stocky Danny Trejo. FBI, FBI Special, Special Agent, Agent Francis York, York Morgan. Morgan. Please, Please just, just call, call me York. York. That's, what That's what everyone, everyone calls, calls me. me. I'm so excited to be playing this again. You have no idea. Could you, Could you tell, tell me why the FBI, FBI is so interested in a small town homicide? homicide? Oh, is the voice Let's hearing is it sounding kind of echoey? Okay, let me know. I'm always looking for new samples. Did that fix it? I uh, made a change there. Both our superiors have cleared this with each other. You can remain in command. Perfect. Okay. You don't have a problem with this, do you? No. What caused it? No problem. Uh, the desktop audio playing over the video capture device. Just want to set so. things straight. Our yeah. small town has its share okay. of problems. Okay. Well, as long as it works. Yeah, hold on. I'm the one this. fixing them yeah, one by one. one and maintaining peace and order you can have your profiling sample oh yeah i don't have both active at once yeah i <laughs> fixed it <laughs> of course of course by the way george i had a little accident with my car could you send someone to take care of it oh and my clothes and luggage are still inside all right don't worry i'll get my assistant thomas to take care of it do you need anything else? Thanks. That'll be all. Well then, I think I'll rest up first at the hotel. Then I'll join you on your investigation. Don't know how to say this, but uh, we really don't need your help. Unlike some of your corrupt city police officers, I play it by the book. I hope you'll come to appreciate that, Agent Morgan. We said to call us York. The He's being a you dick on purpose. A vacation. Take it easy. Enjoy the nature here. You don't have to be a tree worshiper to appreciate the wildlife here. <laughs> Agent Morgan, quote unquote. There are no cavemen here. We're as far forward as the Middle Ages. And we've just met the king. Did you know there's a whole city here, not just a corridor full of monsters? We got a lot to do. We got a lot of work to do here. I'm excited to explore the city. I hope the city has, uh, coffee. Just you wait. We got $200 for that. We're rich. Speaking of, of mysteries in the Pacific Northwest that are video games, Danny, did you know that Alan Wake is in Fortnite now? <laughs> he is. And not only that, there's a special Alan Wake uh, mode by uh, by Epic Games that you can play. Check this out. Okay. Zach View. Previously during the investigation, these puppies are making me go to another town in the boondocks again. I didn't think you'd keep me waiting. Speaking of Alan Wake, Alan Wake does this too. The whole ep episode preview thing. Cool. George Woodman. Call me George. Didn't that come around this time? Maybe a little later. Do you feel it, Zach? My coffee warned me. I like this way more than Alan Wake, though. Yeah, this is better. This game just has the juice. I don't know what else to say. This game's juiced, all right. <laughs> we got Angel Isaac. Thank you, Green Herring 100. It's my coffee warned me about this stream. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Trace Bullet. Missed this for the 17 month resub. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for the 17 months. Oh, what happened here? 
I just think it's cool that you can play through like Alan Wake levels in Fortnite as like any skin you want. So you could be like John Wick is as Alan uh, Wake. <laughs> John Wick is Alan Wake. Yeah, you could be Goku as Alan Wake. Child, you're emanating so much light. He's like a little lamp. Don't breathe. Hold your breath. They can't see you if you hold your breath. Hurry. Like this. Cover your mouth. This is a mechanic in the game. It's customary to also hold your own breath while you play this. Okay. I'm just kidding. Don't actually do I was going to say this is way too long. <laughs> you'll, you'll pass out. They didn't consider the gamer. I can't breathe if I hold my breath. Just like Death Stranding. Is it? I haven't played that. 150 die in retro palaces that don't hold your breath. Don't do it. Breathe normally while watching the stream. Also, if you let go of the button, you have to redo this, redo this entire sequence. So keep holding that button. Supposedly, this is something you could do in combat, but I never found an actual excuse to do this. It's either just easier to just mow everyone down. Yeah, I'm with you, Chad. How is he able to hold his breath for so long if he's heavy, such a heavy smoker? I'm still holding it. The button, not my breath. I was gonna say you're you're talking. I can talk and hold my breath, see? Welcome to Retro Pals! Who are you? A third lung! That's a shadow run like uh, expansion that I can install on my body to be a better streamer. <laughs> Just an additional lung. Let's get those uh, those spurs for the wrists, too. The little wolverine claws. Just to be safe. Okay, but... You're gonna mess up your keyboard with a wolverine claws. They're retractable? Oh yeah, check out the blankets in this game. This game's blanket game is, uh... Well, they tried. Wow. Looks like the skin of a monster. Why monst is his so huge! It's like the skin of a monster in Monster Hunter. He's in a California. This is like this is bigger than a California king. This is a Texas king. The gravy blanket. It does look like gravy. He went to the gravy amusement park and he's sleeping in a gravy blanket. Zach, the symbolism in my dreams continues to intensify. A forest of red trees. A carpet with red leaves, a strange doll, and twin angels. But that child is what bothers me the most. I swear I've seen him before. I just can't remember where. For the record, this part shouldn't be echoing. Is it, uh, does it still sound okay? I want to be yeah, sure. We got to get this perfect. To me eventually. For now, we need coffee. Not echoing? Good. Good, good. All right. Well, to the cafeteria, Zach. we just woke up. I hope they have some real coffee. I really need some coffee. And just they like you and me, Sheriff's office. Agent Francis There's York Morgan procedure for everything. needs some coffee. That's fair. I, I, I make coffee every morning. Look at this freaking bedroom. They have fully working mirrors. That is, the mirror is really impressive. Why is there a photo of a babe up there? <laughs> Why do we have babe photos up on the wall? No, no, no worries. No need to know. It's a butterfly, a clear reference to Mansion of Hidden Souls. Mm hmm mm hmm We can sleep some more if we want. We can change clothes. I think we just have the one suit to start with. Okay, you should change into something sexy. Oh, no, we actually have a few. Alex, which one do we want? I want the crimson suit. That is so flamboyant. Sometimes it's good to change image. Mm -hmm. Looks almost brand new, no problem. You can change your clothes and you can clean them, and uh, you get extra money for being a clean agent. Okay. 
All right, we're party time, Francis York Morgan now. Ready to hit the streets. But first, I shave. I gotta look good. Thank you, Game Quarter 61 month resub. Welcome to the shaving portion of Deadly Premonition. <laughs> Thank you. Are you able to control the shaving, or is it just a... a it's automatic, but okay. you get a bonus for shaving. Okay. I was... Are you holding your breath? Oh, I guess I am. Look at that. You're, do you stink? Are you stinky? I was. I was looking at the toiletries over there. Look at how much realistic uh, lotions and shaving it's equipment so is over nice there. It's so nice looking, too, for this shitty little hotel. This is a really nice hotel room, by the way. Is this like, the shower? Yeah, I think this is the shower. This is such a nice hotel room. Like, how is there such a night? No, this is just where the toilet is. Oh, I see. You can take a piss there. And a shit. And a shit? Uh-huh. Toilets can do that now? Yeah, it's new technology. Where's the... I keep forgetting where the run button is. This is a speedrun technique. If you choose to open the door, but just by pushing the A button, it looks like this. Mm-hmm. Takes a very long time to do it. Takes a very long animation. If you hold the run button while you do it, <laughs> it just barges through. I want to stay in this hotel, Danny. Let's go. Let's go solve a murder in the Pacific Northwest. It's the Retro Pals' time to shine when it comes to murder cases. Ooh, okay. Ooh, look at the options. Look at your chips. This is a those chips look fancy. Right? Like, I'm not, I'm not wrong. Like, those chips look like artisanal. Yeah, they don't look like a, look like brand name. There's no Fritos or Doritos here. Yeah. There's some is, Takis up there. It's all fancy. Hey, I want some coffee. Good morning, Mr. Morgan. Your breakfast is ready for you. Excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> she got that fighting game movement. Thank you, Mrs. Polly Oxford. Just Polly is fine. Well then. Thank you, Polly. I'm starving. You like Super Mario World? Yeah, I was gonna say! Me too. Hey, I I have to say something. Yeah. <laughs> that table's too long. It's delicious, Polly. My compliments this, to the chef. This this hotel is is messed up. Guests. Well, maybe if you had a shorter table, you'd have more guests. <laughs> I couldn't help but notice that your table Aside sucks. You me, there seems to be no other guests or workers around. What's that? The salt's in that white shaker there. Thank you. I was wondering if there were any other guests or workers here. Oh, no, no one else. My husband and I used to run this place, but he's in heaven now. You've Aww. been working here alone since then. Must be hard by yourself. Oh my, we're all out of pepper. I'm very sorry. It must be difficult to run a hotel by yourself. Well, yes, I suppose. What's your game, lady? I could just live on my pension. But I have to admit, running a hotel is kind of like a hobby of mine. Hey, That's mine too. Nice. Holly, it might help to hear you better if you could sit a little closer. Oh my, Mr. Morgan, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> so early in the day, too. I think I'm a little too old for you. And I still love my departed husband. May God rest his soul. I appreciate the invitation, but I'm fine over here. Holly, I can hardly hear you from all the way over there. You're exaggerating. It's <laughs> fine. It won't do to be all confident. How could people say this game is only accidentally funny? <laughs> this is wonderful. We'll have to make use of all this space. <sighs> now tell me, that wound on your face, what happened? Let's just say I had some trouble during the last case I was working on. I'm sure it'll heal. It's just a flesh wound. Oh my, well, there's no need to be the tough guy here. I we got kazoos! I do like the kazoos. I've prepared a special room for you. A famous rock star once stayed in the same room. Morrissey know. stayed here? I feel honored.
Zack the Lady is offering to help. Do you want to ask her about the town? Uh, what else am I doing? Say, Polly, what can you tell me about this town? Immediately tunes her out. <laughs> He's just thinking of the song as he drifts away into flavor country. I was gonna say to nicotine heaven. Looking at that filter, it looks like he's smoking menthols. Police brand. Police brand menthols. That's why this place is so big for such a small community. I have so many fond memories from back then. I suppose the clock on the community center is quite famous too. The clock? Oh yes, it's This game looks amazing in HD. I played this uh on a CRT the first time. You'll hear it many times during It looked almost as good. I played through Dead Rising on a CRT, too. I don't recommend that as much. Don't do that. Yeah, tell me about the shops here. Let's go shopping. Could you tell me about the shops? Yeah, you liking the dialogue mixing? Well, there aren't many. It is a small town. I'm very glad this whole game is subtitled by default. Yeah. That is a very nice touch. The couple who run it we gotta go to the milk barn. Milk barn. Bar, there are two the Galaxy of Terror and the Sweary 65. I don't care much for either of them. Bars are for the younger folk. We also have a gas stand, of course. Yeah, enough serious time. We're back to the, even the whistle song. Mm -hmm. you should Blow my whistle, baby. You need. Thank you, Polly. So that's just like his own private ashtray that's a cylinder? Mm hmm. It's a cigarette holder. That's so strange. To warn you, though, I am very particular about my coffee. The very best you have, please. I understand. No, that shitty coffee on purpose. It. Make it actually good. Yeah, that's I love this fair. pose. <laughs> Portable ashtrays are more common in Japan, so that makes sense. <laughs> it's the pose I make when I have coffee every day. Just it cross is. my arms and be like, hmm, yes. Look with interest. It says fuck. Did you see that, Zach? Clear as a crisp spring morning. F. K. In the coffee. I knew I could count on it. Never fails. <laughs> no. Let's get going. That smile animation. Oh, everything about this game is just the best. It is. It is. I'm enchanted. Now smile like a normal person. <laughs> You've got a Z meter and a food meter, I see. Yeah, we're all topped up. We have enough sleep. We have enough food. There's a freaking piano here. Why is this hotel so nice in this podunk-ass town? It's just very large is the thing. We don't need to go. Extremely 70s dining hall, dining hall. I love how 70s everything is in this game, by the way. It's so good. I want some more coffee. I don't know. That coffee didn't look that good. No offense. Uh-oh. There's always trouble heading my way in this job. But I'm always up for a little excitement, too. That's enough coffee for now. Okay. I wonder if that affects the outside world. Like, do the enemies become tougher if you get a bad fortune? Wouldn't put it past this game. Thank you, Rachel Retro. 69-month resub. Nice! Ha-ha! <laughs> the drug number. Cool. <laughs> Thank you so much for the 69 Thank months. Thank you. $24? $24.45 for a pack of six lollipops. Alex, I paid $5 for some, for some circus peanuts, and I thought that was a bit much. We could also buy a... Uh, some crackers for uh dollars <laughs> that's i thought gluten-free crackers were expensive jesus the inflation here is out of control polly you're back oh hi
Daily goods? I love daily goods. Coffee comes as a set. Thank you, SneakerNet's 52-month resub. Boo to you, too. <laughs> Hello. Welcome. Boo. It's a spooky good game. He had a heavy cigarette. That was one of the options you could buy. You want to buy some $119 worms? It's a really expensive worm. Tell you what we need is a fishing rod. We absolutely need a fishing rod. Is there fishing in this game? Oh, Alex, there is so much fishing in this. Normal worm. That's the kind of worm I am. Just a normal worm. $100 worm. Normal stuff. Cheese. I could see cheese being this expensive, actually. That I could see. Uh, we should probably buy some heavy cigarettes. It's a rare brand. Can't carry any more of that. Okay, well, we have enough cigarettes. Good. In this game, you have both a hunger meter and a sleepy meter. And I you see. have to keep both of those uh, satisfied. Do you really run out of cigarettes and you have to buy more cigarettes or else he freaks out? <laughs> <laughs> well. I guess we'll find out. See, if you're a diligent FBI agent, that involves uh, checking the weather. And that's okay. when they, they give you bonuses. Egg! You got egg? The old egg in the microwave trick. What do we got here? Sweet candy. Look at all those Cola. cigarettes. This place is well stocked for coffee fiends. Look at all these bags of beans. I know. This is a very coffee-centric place. Let's move here. Okay. They don't seem like they have any problems here. Look at this. They got a little VIP area with the... <laughs> the raised platform. For all the fancy guests. You got milk coffee. That's less effective than uh, non-milked coffee. Mm. There's a whole freaking bar here! Polly! Let's start drinking. Polly, why is your hotel so fucking nice? This is nicer than a lot of big city hotels. This make it Hilton look like shit. <laughs> you want to let the cat out? Oh, yeah. All right. She, uh... Delicious floor coffee. <laughs> She's been very feisty today. Come on, honey. I'll even give you your taco, okay? Well, that was very un informative. We've learned a little bit about Greenvale and a little bit about ourselves. What did we learn about ourselves? Um, we can drink unlimited coffee and nothing bad will happen. Yeah, no, no, Jing Jing. It does look like a, a one of those old, like, hotels that they would do, like, sci-fi cons in. Yeah, like yeah. like a sci-fi con run by, like, one guy who gets arrested for, like... Yeah, and then they'd have to stop doing it. Yeah. <laughs> Because all the furries would get a little bit too rowdy. A police car. Oh my, you new furries are so much more rambunctious than the ones from the 70s. <laughs> so we have King George to thank for preparing a car for me. A pleasant surprise, eh, Zach? I'm just thinking of poor Polly just... Dealing with all those furries with, like, Bluetooth speakers playing Sandstorm or whatever. <laughs> Skating around the hotel. I have to tell you, Zach, mm -hmm. this place simply amazes me. The keys were left on the front hood. And nobody stole the car. Values. Values. This town has what the country needs. Values. Values. <laughs> Let's head over to the sheriff's department. I like the ominous uh, sting as they <laughs> yeah. show you the... As you see an incredibly complicated control diagram. Now I we like know, that their wipers are... We uh, know that this isn't what you want to see right now, like 20 different control combinations, but try to digest all this. Yeah, you get to, you get to adjust your blinkers, your wipers, <laughs> you get to turn the headlights off and on. This game is very detailed in some aspects, and not so much in others. Got a flare if we get in trouble. I love this. Danny, Danny, you gotta drive normal. Says who? Okay, fair enough. Alright, there's that. Oh. Ooh. 
I forget, where were the blinkers? There we go. Okay, it's on the D-pad. You can have your left blinker on at all times if you really want. So, about those bonus features in DVDs nowadays. You know, the ones from the 80s have almost no bonus material. It's bullshit! Even if they do, it's a trailer and the visual quality is pretty bad. You know That's what's trailer. bullshit? The visual quality is a good reminder of those days. So many new audio and visual appliances were coming out back then. That's true. Do you remember the first video deck we bought? We bought it to record one of the Star Wars movies on TV. And remember when that video I'm signaling. Was opened, we spent hours there just trying to find a good movie to rent. There weren't that many to choose from back then. Remember when there weren't unlimited movies, you had to go out and rent one? I do! And you I had to rent Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Yes. <laughs> Produced, directed, written, and edited by John As someone Cadella. who used to be a manager at a video <laughs> store, I love this. I still remember it pretty well. It had so many sequels, and the original was re-released in 95. Oh, like the Star Wars re-release. The long theatrical release bumped up to a whopping 90 minutes. A whopping 90 minutes? minutes. This case is over. We can watch it together. I bet we can buy a copy on the internet pretty easily. Oh yeah, you want to see any movie? Just buy the DVD off eBay for like two bucks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or you could stream it. I guess streaming wasn't really a thing when this game came out. I think uh, old York here would really like the idea of streaming. Do you think so, or do you think he would miss the uh, the physicality of VHS? Oh, that could be yeah. And DVDs. And he could just like the ritual. Mm -hmm. He seems like he would have a massive laser disc collection. Let's race. What? With who? Ourselves. You can speed up a little bit if you hold down the uh, the siren button. And it plays the song that's uh, almost a note for note rip off of American Idiot. <laughs> it is. I love this game. I love this game's uh, uh, carnival uh, type IP infringement. Thank you, Murphigator, for the for the big raid. Thank you so much. Hey, Murph, how's it going? What were you up to? We're playing this. If you haven't played this, you need to play this. This is such a good game. Hope you had a good stream. Some of y'all have never seen this game before. This is Deadly Premonition, a 13-year-old video game, so it's old enough to be retro. I say so. And it's just retro in spirit. I mean, look like it. Look look at it. And then look like it. Look like it. <laughs> I was saying earlier, this looks like a, a boosted Dreamcast game, which it kind of does in a lot of ways. It's like if Dreamcast could do open world. If that was technically possible, then this game would uh, have appeared on Dreamcast. I mean, it shouldn't was open world. Uh, not on this scope. It was a very tiny town. Old Sakura Gaoka. Mm, okay, we gotta, okay. we gotta play that too. This is kind of like uh, before the Yakuza series really went off here in the West. This was the closest equivalent we had to a new Shenmue. Nowadays, Yakuza has pretty much entirely picked up that whole vibe. But yeah, the whole idea of just wandering around a town for fun, seeing what people do in their spare time. This game really captures that. And yeah, everyone in this town has a set schedule. They go around town. You can follow them all day, every day if you wanted to. They go to work. They come home. They live. They laugh. They love. Is that a safe store? I think so. This town doesn't have a lot of, of, of shops, but the ones it does are very specialized. Mm-hmm. I wonder if we're going to do this. I forget what we get for this. Probably just like a trading card or something. You do eventually want to get all the trading cards. I might do some of that off stream, depending. What do, what do the trading cards get you? Um, eventually something pretty special. Eventually. A gun? <laughs> we have a gun! A better gun! Well... Oh yeah, we should be doing this. It's an emergency! Oof! Driving in this game, kind of a pain in the ass. All the cars control like boats. Eventually you get some faster ones. 
I'm watching the radar. That's why I'm driving like a maniac. Do you think York has ever seen Maniac Cop? I hope absolutely. he has. Absolutely. He absolutely has. Notice that your heart meter increases while the, the siren's on, because it's exciting. It is exciting! Ah, uh, great! We made it to high school! Well, what are you gonna do there? I don't know. There's a playing card. Uh huh. Well, we better go get it. In case you were wondering, this game is full of wacky side stuff like this. It's something like half of a complete playthrough, only half is like the main uh, storyline quests, and the other half is side quests. So if you're the type to really enjoy this kind of game, if you're some kind of sicko, there's a lot to enjoy. Let me into the high school basketball court so Jesus, I can- Jesus, never say that! So I can get my freaking trading card. Okay, fair. Speaking of 80s movies, one jewel in the rough springs to mind. Deadly Spawn. Do you remember that one, Zach? Back in 83, directed by Douglas McKenna. Right, it was filmed pretty cheap, but still it was pretty good. The monster design with the mouth crammed full of teeth, I loved it. I never seen so that. Neither. Cliches. Did you know that they made a sequel? But I never got to see the sequel. The rental store didn't have it for some reason. They said the staff for the sequel was totally different from the original. I wonder how the sequel turned out. You know, the monster in that one responded to sound. Wait, Zach. Sounds a lot like the movie Tremors. We're getting off topic Tremors. here. Back in 89, directed by Ron Underwood. That was a great role for Kevin Bacon. I looped! Master. You did! I did a full loop around the freaking school! I remember there was a fourth one. I've only seen the first one, though. <sighs> Alright, well, York was talking to us, I guess. I was about to say talking to himself, but no, he's talking to us. Hey, you crashed your car. I... There's something important. <laughs> we need to get in here. Graham's file at the sheriff's office, but yeah, 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 sheriff's office, whatever. We got a, we got some business here. We got an unlock. There's a limited time unlock I okay. get from Monster Energy. Enter the code on the back of this can to get the trading card at okay, the basketball court. Okay, but if Monster Energy did a col, what energy, what company, what food and beverage company would do the collab for the the Deadly Premonition game? Some kind of freak company that doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, no, absolutely some soda that does no no, no longer exist. Be the original Four Loco. Marvelous. We got some agent honor. Yeah, yeah, the original undiluted uh, Four Loco. There it is. There it is. Get it. Keith! Who is Keith? We'll meet him soon enough. Glad we got to see his uh, trading card first, though. You cannot play basketball on this game. You can just... It looks can... like sh basketball looks like shit. No wonder you can't play. Looks a little deflated. Looks a little uh, non-regulation size. It looks like a medicine ball. <laughs> <laughs> I'll play basketball with medicine balls over here. What wonder there's a serial killer. would sponsor Deadly Premonition? Honestly? I would see Camel doing it. Camel sponsors a lot. Camel and Lucky Strike sponsor a lot of stuff. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, it's one of those things where if you watch enough TV shows, you'll just be like, wow, these characters in the 40s and 50s in this 2023 show sure love Camels and Lucky Strikes. I think I parked over here, right? Cool. Yeah, I love his weird video game run. It's so good. All the canned animations in this are just so perfectly this game oh i'm starting to feel my heart beat through my controller we gotta <laughs> we gotta take a little break <laughs> there we go i forget if you can level up your stamina that sounds like something you're able to do in this sorry i'm late guys i was tracking down uh some important evidence i learned about keith Back to the case. I 
was gonna say, do you need to smoke? Is, is that a, is that? Do you need that? Eventually, uh, smoking passes time. Is what it does. Oh, okay. And time is pretty important in this at some points. Right across the street from the high school. You graduate high school, you go directly to the sheriff's office. The school to prison pipeline is real in Greenvale. <laughs> Might be a literal pipeline. It's a conveyor belt that just woot you right into jail. Normal worm. Normal worm. Is that one of those zombies? Excuse me, that's how I run. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you, Agent Morgan. We've been expecting you. I'm Thomas McLean, the sheriff's assistant. Hello, sir. Hey, Thomas. I love Thomas. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please just call me York. That's what everyone else calls me. Very well then, Agent Agent York. I believe I owe you a thank you for retrieving my belongings from my car. Thanks. Oh, no, no. Just doing my job. I just... I want to help do everything I can to help the investigation. I just can't believe Anna was murdered. I love his pores. A, a non-infected zombie, yeah. That's HD. Beautiful graphics. No, not really. But it's a very small town. I'm sorry. It's just that this is the first really big case I've ever seen. I understand. Just try to relax. Can I have a look at Anna's file now? Poor Thomas never seen a murder before. The sheriff told me to let you through to the meeting room, but I've lost the key to the cabinet where the files are. Thomas! Thomas! Look around while I go look for it. Th no, that's your problem. I'm new here. Thomas! Zach, Thomas appears to be the kind and sensitive type, totally at odds with the monarch. Almost a good setting for a cartoon. Thomas and the King. Ah, well, we have a new side quest. We have to go find some fucking keys. Real glamorous work for us FBI agents. Oh, I should save first. It's been a while. Honey, but... I like how fruity that assistant was. I'm sorry. <laughs> like... Sorry, I was just like, that's so why I'm like, me, me, me. <laughs> yeah, Alex is immediately kinned with uh, uh -huh. Thomas McKenzie. Thomas McKenzie is so good. My pores look like that, too. You could fit a Mack truck in them. Who's wanted? Most wanted. Is that a cat up there? Yeah. <laughs> the cat's the most wanted? And, like, the other two people are, like, its accomplices? I'm into the kitchen. Ooh, shaving time. Let's just shave over everyone's food. Hey, you shouldn't shave randomly with a straight razor in the. We don't you need see a mirror. Thomas has a little, a little. See that with the Thomas on it? What the hell, Thomas? You are a delight. Look at this man. little man. He's making a stew. He's making police brand stew. Everyone support Thomas. We found the gray squirrel keys. I think it's gone bad. <laughs> Zach, there's a name written on this dumbbell. Arnold. I haven't met anyone by that name yet. Could it be the owner of this dumbbell? What do you think, Zach? It's Arnold Schwarzenegger. Cool, right? we're going to meet a celebrity. Yeah. He settled down here in Greenville and became the mayor. There's a little... <laughs> The strawberry print that says Thomas on it. I know, it. that's what I was hollering about earlier. I love it. <laughs> Thomas, I think that's a little more saran wrap than what you need. That's a but lot of saran wrap, Thomas. That's Thomas, a little strange. Thomas likes to be uh, prepared. You see what I like about this game? There's so much detail. So much 
about the world is being built out through Thomas's little <laughs> lacy Thomas thing. Thomas's gay ass stew. Positive. I mean that positively. Yeah. Non pejorative gay, uh, gay stew. Yeah. Please understand. I love Thomas. Gay stew. Positive. Yeah. What the fuck? What the fuck is going on in this police station? Is this one of these gay police stations? Hey, hey. We're finding many sets of keys. Some uh, really close to the muscle magazines. Look at all that protein powder That's on the a floor. Lot of protein powder. Someone's just been eating it straight from the fucking bag. Primetime coverage. Oh. Don't mind us, we're just snooping. In an official capacity. So Thomas here is looking for some keys. However, there are many different kinds of keys. And you have to consult with him to see if uh, it's the correct ones. Thomas? Thomas! <laughs> is Thomas just invisible in this playthrough? Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I installed the invisible Thomas mod. He is invisible! You found the key. <laughs> this is- so. No! Yes, this is literal gay erasure. <laughs> Thomas disappears. This has never happened before. <laughs> Thomas! Uh, no, this is a sugar glider. Sorry, wrong key. Wow, it's not even a squirrel. The is a small gliding possum. It has shorter hair and a longer column-like tail. You can really see its muscle definition on this image, can't you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you looking at the muscles on that Southern possum? Flying squirrel right now. Southern flying squirrel. Okay, got it. How do I reload Thomas? Do I need to? Th there, there he is. is. Okay. All right. <laughs> he just had. He was just. He had things to do. He was shy. All He's right. Back. There he is. Okay. <laughs> Good. That's okay. Here is how that scene was supposed to look with the other, uh, the other keys. You found the key. Is this the one you were looking for? Ah. Uh, no. This is a gray squirrel. Sorry, that's not the key. Nothing particularly special about the gray squirrel, I'm afraid. You can find What it about its muscle definition? And in England too. I've seen some pretty buff squirrels. A gray squirrel. What was I thinking? <laughs> but we're looking for a southern flying squirrel right now. Southern flying squirrel, so it has an accent. Oh, oh yeah, this is where I left off because I hated the police. I didn't hate the police station. I just got really confused, and I was just like, I'm going to do something else. They got these fancy files. I know. Like, everything is so pricey in this little town. What's going on? Who's funding... Greenvale. There's a story here for sure. Well, he's a police, so he might have something to do with it. You can just tell at a glance, this guy has nothing to do with the case. Greenville Sheriff. Cool. Well, let's look in the other rooms, see if we can find, what was it, a southern flying squirrel? Yeah. Found the tire room and the bump map room. <laughs> pointy tailed flying squirrel keys. Does pointy tailed mean uh, southern? I hope so. Well, he's right here, so let's go ahead and ask him. Hey. Thomas! Maybe. What do you think of this one? You found the key. I think so. Is this it? Disappointed yet again. Uh, you don't know your squirrels, do you? Look! This isn't the right key holder. <laughs> I'm this sorry! Is a Siberian flying squirrel. It's closer to a land based squirrel. The Siberian flying squirrel is larger than the southern. Okay, so we want one that's smaller than this. It has a standing tail, while the southern has a hanging tail. With a hanging tail. But we're looking for a southern flying squirrel right now. You sure do know a lot about squirrels. Yeah, why do all the keys have squirrels? 
Emily, do you know about squirrels? Emily! We don't know about squirrels, apparently. Hi. Uh, but Thomas is making me do this bullshit side quest. I hope so, too. Well, let's go to the basement. Oh, hey, look! Resident Evil uh, fixed camera perspective number it's two. Back. It's back, baby. Yeah, all the squirrel furries in chat are just like, how could you get these? <laughs> That's obviously not a southern flying squirrel. <laughs> a striped squirrel. Again, this police station is so overfunded. I almost <laughs> they love really it. are. They have no crimes. So it just all goes to making a really fancy police station. And buying a bunch of squirrel keychains. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I found a jail cell. Let me know that jail cell. I guess. Yeah, probably. Cool dog. This is a cool dog. The dog is most wanted. That cat's still on the loose. We could take a nap in here if we wanted. Can we? Oh my god, it's li No, don't nap! <laughs> no, no. Yeah. Okay. You've got stuff to do. We're pretty well rested. Toilet. Can't use the toilet, but you can use the bed. The lighting in this area is really nice. Why? The shadows are really good. Sometimes this game just looks good. Curvy-tailed flying squirrel keys. That sounds vaguely like what we want. What's this? You can't go there. Why not? Oh, there's a bed in the way. It's covered in piss and whatever. Oh, yeah, it's a gross bed. I'm not yeah, going to touch don't, it. Don't touch those beds. You don't know where it's been. Yeah, <laughs> let that guy out. Okay. I don't know what he did, but obviously it's not that bad. Hey, open this up. <laughs> Got to talk to this guy. Oh, I hope our vacation lasts at least a little while. There's another guy. Let, oh, I guess. What kind of crimes can you even commit in this town? I'm imagining a shit like perjury. Public drunkenness. <laughs> a lot of public drunkenness and public urination. Mostly urination. Mm -hmm. It's a real funky smelling town. <laughs> Thomas! Thomas! Is it a striped squirrel? You found the key. Come on. This is the right one. Lots of drugs, yeah, probably. Wasn't that like that in Twin Peaks where like everyone had a drug problem? Yeah. Uh, Here everyone has a squirrel problem. Time, it's a chipmunk! It's not even a squirrel. A Siberian chipmunk. This species lives in northern Japan on the island of Hokkaido. What's it doing here? Quite a popular pet. So it isn't even a squirrel. But we're looking for a southern flying squirrel right now. Thomas, I am at my wit's end with you. Is this the key? found the key. That's the right one. Hmm? Huh? Yes. Yes! Ah! <laughs> I'll bring the you okay? In, so God, that took to so end. long. <laughs> but you get Normal a grin. Smile. You get a grin for it, at least. That's why you so quit this game. You couldn't stand all those squirrels. I literally did get stuck on the squirrel puzzle. <laughs> I just got too annoyed, and I couldn't find... I never found the basement. The victim's name was Anna Graham. Age 18, she just recently graduated from high school this year. Her dream was to move out to the city and become a model. 
but for the time being, she was working in the A&G diner here in town. What did she, she think about squirrels? Anna's father died in an accident in a lumber mill when she was a child. Me and my single biscuit. Her mother is unemployed and lives on the insurance money from her husband's accident. After all, it's a small town with a low cost of living. Financially, they seem to get by fine, and they led normal lives. A normal life is exactly what a curious teenager doesn't want. It's almost starting to make sense, Zach. It's true, low cost of living, but the food prices. <laughs> get you a $30 slice of he cheese. put out his cigarette like an idiot. I love that. No, I take that back. All of them can't be as bad as him. And some should have better manners. Huh. This is a good biscuit. I've never tasted a biscuit this delicious. This guy's mood turns on a dime. It does. It's like me. Oh, well, actually. I'm so fucking sad. Whoa, good biscuit! Well, I. I baked them myself. Oh. Moe. That's amazing. What are you doing in law enforcement? They're very particular about biscuits, I'll have you know. The balance of milk and butter you've achieved here. Oh, my. Agent Morgan, the autopsy's ready. You are welcome to accompany me to the Greenvale General Hospital. Emily, you come too. I'm good here with my biscuit. Stay here and tidy up these files. Y yes, sir. We're going to use the car outside. Let's get going. I want one of Thomas's you might biscuits. Think this is just a small town police investigation, but our inspections are thorough and solid. I'm hoping you won't slow us down. Just looking directly at the biscuit the whole time. <laughs> I love how he's constantly distracted. That's very realistic, I feel. <laughs> yeah. He's everyone. They want you to think about the murder case. I just want to think about biscuits. Mm. You, a, you a biscuit fan? I love biscuits. How long has it been since you've had a biscuit? Flaky, buttery, layered biscuits. That's what I like. Those kinds in the cans that when you open them, it pops and it scares you. I love those. Oh, my God. I can't have them anymore, but I love them. Don't eat that sandwich, by the way. Looks pretty good. No. I don't know. I'm pretty hungry. The Greenvale General Hospital is down the road by the lake. It's too far to walk. Come on. Get in the car. If I'm right, I barely remember fighting zombies at this point. Can you provide a car for me? What are you talking about? You don't even know how to get there. Which is another good reason for me to drive, George. I need to learn my way around town. Oh, man. Very well. Then I'll ride with you. I want to keep an eye on you. Fair enough. You're a troublemaker. Give me a car. Just one thing, Agent Morgan. Your involvement in this case is limited. That means you don't have to learn your way around town. George, we'd better get moving. The hospital closes at 2100. Let's go. I guess we should go. They want to come with us. Yeah, very strange that the hospital closes. Usually those things are open 24 hours. Just because you have a badge doesn't mean you can drive like a maniac. Drive like a maniac. Got it. Are you his mother? We just need to get the so like, results. Agent York isn't accustomed to the town yet. Give him a little slack. Hmm. When the hospital closes, do they just send the patients home? Just, you gotta wait outside. Well, then, okay. Agent, let's get going. Sure. Sounds good. Ooh, it started storming. Sure hope I can drive. Do they get mad at you if you drive like shit? Oh, yeah. I'm half doing this on purpose and half not because, like I said, the cars drive like boats. Let's go ahead and get on the way to the hospital. Oh yeah, if you're in the the car interior, I can't help noticing. You can look at people while you're talking to them. That's kind of cool. Where the hell are we going?
Oops. Might be a surprise oh. to hear. <laughs> you notice things like that at my age. You have to treat women carefully, like a thin crystal wine glass. If you like crystal, me, got it. Got scars on your face, Honey. just like yours. Right? Well, I gotta look at him. Okay. I gotta be polite. This is raising my politeness points. It was caused by Blam. It'll fade away, and nobody will notice it in a week. A week? It's not the light of a wound. So, Emily, tell me, is there really a need for a full-time sheriff in a small town like this? I'm sure That's a good question. I went the wrong freaking way. Whatever, we got a lot to talk about. All kinds of problems. Fights, runaways, stray pets. Fix it. Our job is to guide the people along the correct path, first and foremost. That's what I consider to be my duty as the Sheriff of Greenvale. makes me glad that I was You're a fascinating driver in this game. <laughs> I was just reflecting on a little of this. Well, it's not about how good you drive, it's about the destination. Keep your That's mind fair. Matter at hand. Okay, which right now is driving. <laughs> Supposedly. All right, let's look at the freaking map. I remember the map in this game being a real fucking problem because you can't zoom it out. This is the maximum zoom out that you get. All right, you got to go down that long ass path. Oh shit, thank you super great friend for the raid. Oh my goodness. Thank you. We are playing through Deadly Premonition over a couple of streams, but we're we got still a bit more to play tonight. Oh, hey, you ever hear of this one? <laughs> What's up, everybody? Hope you had a good stream. You were playing Resident Evil Revelations, I think. That's one I always meant to get around to. I love this game. Deadly Premonition is so freaking good. Odds are, if you're watching this, you're familiar with Super Great Friends' uh, legendary <laughs> Let's Play of it. But I figure, why not? Let's play this. Let's play this excellent video game. Oh, we gotta hurry. The siren gives us a five mile per hour boost. Is it really? Mm-hmm. That's wonderful. But it also raises your heart rate, so you gotta be careful. <laughs> we just finished the opening area. We're about to head to the hospital to talk to the hospital director. God, what a good game this is. We had to find so many keys for our new best friend, Thomas, at the police station. Thomas loves squirrels, and I love that for him. <laughs> He's a big squirrel fan. It's uh -huh. his newest fixation. These cop cars only go 50 miles an hour. We gotta upgrade this. Oh no, I left the town! Did you really leave town? It's okay, don't worry about it. Okay, that's fine. Don't worry, it's fine. We'll make up for lost time. Okay, I was gonna, I was gonna suggest you smash into that truck and let the logs fly loose. <laughs> if only. Yeah. That would be pretty cool. Oh, it's been so long since I've returned to Greenville. I still know the basic layout, but apparently not because I just went into a corner. Danny, you driving stupid. <laughs> hey. Sorry, sorry. I get the job done, all right. We're in the middle of a homicide investigation. Keep your mind on the matter at hand. He's right, Agent York. You still don't know your way around. Concentrate on driving us to the hospital. I should concentrate? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so good. Playing the Xbox 360 version, the original, still the best. You can play the director's cuts if you want. I don't think they're as good. What's funny is that the director's cut added in a new uh, framing device for the cutscenes. Like, occasionally it cuts to a, a future scene. And then later, when they re-released it for Switch, they decide, you know what, those scenes suck, take them back out. <laughs> so the original form for this is still the best. So do you think the Francis York Morgan ever switched to vaping? Did he? I mean, just think. Do you think he would do that? Do you think... That's that something he might do. He might he, consider it, at least. I bet in the early days of vaping, back when people cared a little bit less, I bet he vaped in movie theaters. <laughs> he did that until you couldn't get away with it anymore. Yeah, I remember that time. That time fucking sucked. Secretly vaped on airplanes and shit. Now they have to tell you, do not vape in the bathroom, we will find you. 
<laughs> do they say that on planes? They That's do, cool. yeah. No vaping devices. Don't turn on your Nintendo Switch during uh, takeoff or landing or else the plane will crash. Okay, that's... That's pretty cool. Don't crash a plane, though. I think they just don't want us playing video games. I think it's just the anti-video game society <laughs> that makes us not <laughs> play video games Yeah, there, there is a total conspiracy about it. There we go. I made it here. With minimal damage to the car. Oh, it's it's halfway damaged. Okay, never mind. How can you tell the vehicle's damage? It's at a uh, fifty-five percent health. That's a pretty big hospital. I guess they wanted to <laughs> he smoked himself a into a racing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I kind of don't want to acknowledge Deadly Premonition 2, but I guess it's one of those truths we have to live with. My mother always talked about how energetic this town used to be. Almost like a gold rush, she used to say. Impressive. But the hotter the fever, the faster it cools. And so now there's hardly anyone left to use it. Is that true? The hotter the fever, the faster it cools? No. Beyond your understanding, I'm sure. No! Have you noticed our FBI poncho? I like the poncho. These other people are just just way too wet. It really isn't any need for you. It's all sloppy. And the poncho doesn't cover your arms. It's just your front and your back. Look at that shitty poncho. That's a pretty shitty poncho. Wow, fucked up poncho. FBI ponchos don't cover sleeves. They spent all their money on. on Here's the, ham. They spent all their money on the police cigarettes. Cut your ham looks good. Sheriff. Hey, Freckly Fiona. F Freckly Fiona? Hi there, Fiona. We're here to see Usha. Do you know where he is? I think Dr. Johnson is in the computer room. A computer room? In a hospital? What do you need computers for? Nice to meet you, Mr. FBI agent. The computer room is where our employees share a computer. Very nice to meet you, too. Oh. I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. How did you know I was FBI? <laughs> Easy. None of the police in this town wear cologne. Besides, that scar on your face is the biggest rumor in town. What? We've been here for an hour. As they spread, even in the countryside. Everybody want to talk about the scar. Maybe I don't want to talk about it. If I may ask. Liar's house. You it's a recent bestseller mystery. It's set in the U.S., a small, traditional North American town close to the Canadian border. A peaceful, traditional place. However, that peaceful town is shattered by... Yeah, guys going around to every hospital room being like, Hey, the guy with the scar is here! <laughs> You're about the scar? Fiona, don't say that. Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. On a dead and all. Don't worry. Books are written to entertain. It's good you're enjoying it. What we're faced with here is a terrible crime committed in a real world. Yeah, that was kind of an unusual use of the word seditious. Mm -hmm. There's no need to apologize. Thank you, Agent York. What you got for us, Fiona? Hey, Fiona. We need to find the computer room. I think it's close. This is a really nice hospital. I miss this game. I was saying earlier in the stream that uh, I was among the few people that pre-ordered this shit. <laughs> I saw this for 20 bucks and I was like, oh man, this looks like a simple 2000 game. I bet this is horrible. And then I played it and I was like, oh my god. This is one of my favorite games. Sure doesn't seem like it in the early hours, though. It sure seems like you're going to get a real shitty game. Hey, what's up with the chess posters? Does the doctor like playing games by any chance? What do you mean? Oh, for a chess... There's a message on the computer. No, that explains less if there's a chess tournament. The king passes the rook and meets the bishop. I want to have posters for all the different chess pieces. <laughs> Except for the knight. Fuck that guy. 
simple puzzle. Zack, let's take him up on his challenge. You can do this, right? Alex, this is a pretty tough puzzle. What do you think the solution to this is? That's right, it's to read the chess piece names in order. <laughs> Checkmate. Really? <laughs> yeah. First time I played this, I tried to overthink the, that whole solution, but no. The doctor awaits below with the deceased. Another code? But there's nowhere to insert a password. More games. I'm I hate games. To call Usha up here right now. I'm kind of with no, them. No, that perhaps this is this is police business. It's telling us where to use it. This is not the time to be joking around, Agent Morgan. But what's life without a little fun? Dr. Usha is below with the deceased. With Anna. Below being underground, I take it. Simple. Simple. Then it's time to meet the mischievous architect of this little game. <laughs> Make him sound like a gremlin. Nah. The mischievous little creature who loves to play mind games. I wish he was a goblin. This game needs some goblins. Chess tournament. What's that say? Uh... Oh, it does say the doctor, uh... It says that, yeah. Huh. I solved the puzzle. Let's go meet Dr. Usha. Cool. <laughs> wow, look. It's pictures of the hospital. Cool. Premarital exam guide. Per examination service. Registering and filling in forms. Therapeutic, Therapeutic room six. Blood, blood surgical exam. Surgical exam for men. Really. Blood brine collection. X room. X ray room. Chest x ray. Polyclinic rooms. Internal medicine for men and women. Education room. <laughs> premarital education, huh? Yeah, I don't like this. Save your life. Like your life, wahaha. -ha. <laughs> Regis tongue and fill. Therapeutic C what? Blood urine collection. X-ray room. Hello, kitty. Hello. Chest X-ray, fa fa, my girl. Polyclinic machines. Exam of internal medicine for men and women. Premarital exams again. Surgical exam for girl. For girl! Premarital exam. Gynecological exam for child. Premarital What? <laughs> Educationer. AI was big even 20 years ago. Yes, your doctor told us that you are to be our patient, except our enthusiastic congratulations and well wish on your coming event. And be assured that we have a very personal interest in your case and have already taken steps to see to tie that you're staying in the Palo Alto Hospital. What? This isn't Palo Alto, that's <laughs> California! We'll be past a social visit before you enter. We want to mint and greet you for yours. Alto? No, it's not. Welcome to Palo Alto. AKA Greenvale. Oh, cool. It's one of the few people in this game who doesn't have a name or like a a, a, a little routine he follows through town. Occasionally there's just NPC ass NPCs. Can you push him? Oh. Let's have a late breakfast today. Keep your poncho handy. So like the hotel, the hospital is quite huge. Room for many patients. Yeah, this is just as like big as a, a hosp the hospital I've been to in real life. What the hell? Here we go. Hey, another one of these scenes. Oh yeah, another Resident Evil uh, fixed camera perspective. That's the third one so far. I was mentioning earlier, eventually the game forgets all about those. It's cool.
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. More premarital exams. I'm gonna ask this guy if anyone proofread these signs. I want to meet the guy who wrote these. Love your eyes. Like your eyes. Waha. <laughs> X-ray room. Hello, kitty. Love you eyes. I love you eyes. Love you eyes. That's how you navigate video games. Menus. You know. Mm -hmm. Eyes are very important for that kind of thing. Show me the body! Come on! We want to see the body! Hello? I'm right here! Can I come in? Please? Hello? <laughs> you guys! I don't want to be left out of the autopsy. Oh, nice, a little rest area with some Agent Honor. Instead of... I don't know what that is. Let's I don't know on. what that is. It looked like a guy standing in the, in the toilet. I could be wrong. You could be. Use the vents. <laughs> that would be cool. Asha, sorry to keep you waiting. Ah, you made it. Let's get started, shall we? The only doctor here. This is Agent Morgan from the FBI. Mm, nice to meet you. I'm Usher Johnson, the doctor in this hospital. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please call me York. Everyone calls me that. <laughs> Happy Easter, Xbox. Very well, Agent <laughs> Are you a forensic practitioner? Let's just I want to get Usher to record videos like that, but for Retro Pals. God! That battle of wits, by the way. Did you create what holidays would the Retro Pals celebrate? Um. National Boyfriend Day. National Happy National Boyfriend Day, uh, Retro Pals. Thank you, Ultraviolet Combat, for the raid. Thank you. Don't have you. Much time. We are playing through results. Dudley Premonition on the Xbox 360. Hey, thanks for the raid. Hope you had a good stream. This is an amazing game if you've never seen it before. Very highly recommended. Obstructing an investigation. You've angered the monarch. I'm glad we at least brought up the whole obstructing the investigation thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he at least needed to be informed. From the onset of rigor mortis, the stiffening of the muscles, the time of death is estimated to be between Oops. Sorry for kicking the microphone. Quite early for such a crime to take place. Note that there are two exterior wounds. Pressure marks around the neck. And a long cut running from chest to abdomen. Right here. I have a right hand. Her skull is also fractured. But that is unrelated to the cause of death. It probably happened to her after she was killed. Now, I first thought death by suffocation due to the marks on her neck. But after further investigation, I now have a different conclusion. <laughs> exactly. The investigation waits for no one unless we have something better to do. <laughs> was loss of blood. Which means she was cut up while she was still alive. Yes, uh, a sharp knife was used. It inserted beneath the sternum and then into the spinal canal. The extensive loss of blood from her internal organs would actually take her to the Her nails are clean and with no skin cells from the attacker. She also doesn't appear to have been bound nor badly beaten. 
she was apparently killed without resistance. The most tragic thing, however, was that she was unable to speak her story to anyone who could hear her cries. What, bro? The perpetrator cut out Anna's. Oh, okay. Yeah. I believe she was drugged first to phase her consciousness, and then the killer killed her. Now, the killer most likely has a deep. We're running through the whole soundtrack here. Sure are. He probably Play the whistle song. It's it. It'll be one. fun. <laughs> Cutting out the tongue suggests a very lonely. Either that or a true hardcore sadist. Oh, he's still thinking about those biscuits. He must get off on watching women suffer, especially when they can't answer back. Now, he watched as the blood pumped from her body as she gradually grew cold. Now, a case in Seattle in 1985 with much less. Usher, please limit your report to your findings as a doctor. Criminal profiling is my job. We got told. Damn. Wrong, also, Anna died fully, deeply, painfully aware of what was happening to her. But, uh, but, but. Tell me, what time did it stop raining on the night Anna was killed? Uh, just before I went to bed, right after the movie on TV ended. So, around 1 a.m. What movie was it? An American Werewolf in London. Uh, directed by John Landis, 1981. <laughs> so the rain stopped, accompanied by the ending song, Blue Moon. He's never not on his bullshit. Mm -hmm. George, would you mind if I examine He must have myself? the most amazing letterbox to count. What more do you <laughs> hope to find? 12,000 reviews. I'm sure I mentioned that I have a personal interest in cases like these. Yeah, you liking this tone whiplash? <laughs> Can it be whiplash if you're not really sure where it's going to head in the next place? Okay, but he literally, like, does tricks for you to be able to find out where he is. You have to solve, like, puzzles. He's the freaking Riddler. I kind of like that, though. I wish... No, I don't wish my doctor was more like the Riddler. <laughs> I sure don't. Mm. Yeah. A peace mark, eh? Very strange. Yes. Anna, anagram, anagram, hilarious name. It's supposed to be like 18 in this game, yeah? Mm hmm. Okay. No, I don't want to look at the edge of the stuff. <laughs> no, thank you. We got coffee for that. No, that's just telling us what coffee is. Never this is our memories of coffee. Uh, Better times. From her lack of resistance, I'd say that Anna's injuries happened very quickly. Unable to speak, she was then left to cry. If you want your prescription, you must find it. Zach, it's all starting to come together. The perpetrator stayed with her for at least two hours until it stopped raining. At the estimated time of her death, it was still raining. But you can still see tear marks on her cheeks. That means she was killed under a roof somewhere. Hmm. She was then carried into the woods after it stopped raining. Hmm. <clears throat> there, there's one other thing. Her tongue was removed with a very blunt knife. Eee. In fact, it's more likely it was simply chopped off. Asha, are you a passionate man? Well, not particularly, I mean, but I am man enough should the moment call for. George, how about you? <laughs> Normal response. Well, I'm very passionate, yes. Especially when it comes to women. But I don't see what that has to do with anything. George, the perpetrator is just like you. He's passionate about women. He's a passionate kisser. This was a kiss of death. 
Ah, the perpetrator. Bit off Anna's tongue. We'll never get a dental print from a wound like this. But this is still a big lead. We got some freak on the loose. And somehow it's not us. Jackpot sack. It's a shame, but our old time all American sightseeing tour just came to an end. This case is now under the jurisdiction of the FBI. I'm assuming command. I'll need you to assist me in the investigation. What in the hell do you mean, Agent Morgan? I know I said I was passionate, but you can't think I did this. That's not why I'm assuming command, George. You're a suspect just as much as every other passionate man on Earth. Let me show you. Every man is a suspect. <laughs> that narrows it down. All you men out there looking pretty guilty right now. Yeah, only the passionate ones. There you go. Amazing, huh? I'm sure you have a lot of questions, but most of the details are top secret. Oh. George, Emily, we should be going. No need to stay here any longer. Okay. I have to sign the release. Just give me a moment. Very well. I'll go on ahead. I can't take it any longer down here. Gotta have my nicotine fix. Mm -hmm. It's impolite to smoke around bodies. Queen. His rook takes your queen. Then your knight takes rook. And checkmate. Huh? My first victory in the Grandmaster ranking. Yeah, you didn't earn it, though. <laughs> Give that shit to York. Ah, another productive day here on the... Uh-oh. Remember the part where this is an action game with zombies? Oh, yeah. Zack, they're here. But first... No, I think we're good on uh, crackers and lollipops. <laughs> Dang, we got $2,200. That'll buy us at least... Uh, I was going to say, that's at least three lollipops. <laughs> at least three lollipops. Oh, man. If you just came in and you haven't seen the action sequences in this game, they're not this game's uh, strongest point. They are, you know... They're okay. They're okay. They are average. They are competent. They are something you work through to get to the meat of the game. What do you think of that? I think that clock's messed up. The body's not here. <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay. So what do you think's going on here? It went from the investigation segment to just all of a sudden York is on his own and suddenly we're in crazy town. Um, I think that York's brain is broken. You think so? Yeah. Yeah, this is York's mind prison, exactly. Hmm, okay. Maybe the zombies wrote these demented signs in the hallways. <laughs> X-ray room. Hello Kitty. Don't want to die. <laughs> eh? Oh, I was caught on the bodies. Or there No, you go. we're good. Very strange. Nah, the game's normal. Okay. This is normal gaming to me, the Joker. 
one normal game, please. Is there a Joker VTuber out there? There's gotta be, right? Like, someone's gotta be like the joke man or something. We got the brain stabilizer on the toilet. I, yeah, I guess my brain gets stabilized when I'm on the toilet too. Very true. For the record, we're playing this game on easy mode. I've beaten it in normal. I want to do a hard mode playthrough one of these days, but it has been many years since I played through this, so I wanted to minimize the number of times we have to repeat these sequences. Thank you, SSFSX17, for the 53 month resub. Enjoy uh, this d d these delightful nurses. <laughs> thank you for the many months. It's a lot of months, yeah, thank you. Appreciate the sub. Hope you're having a good one. Something that's really obvious in this game is when enemies are in the middle distance and their full polygon model hasn't loaded yet, mm -hmm. so you get to see them at half resolution. I like that. It's really cool, actually. I think a game should use that, like, on purpose. It's like a, an unsettling effect. I remember this part taking me a couple tries when I first played through this. It's really easy to die right at the end. Well, with any luck, this is going to be a deathless playthrough. You do pretty good so far. Maybe someday they'll release the original cut, which supposedly didn't have these sequences at all. Maybe someday. Maybe someday we'll see a deadly premonition too. One day. One day. Oh shit! Oh. Oh, that nurse my throat. is doing it! Your throat! Get your arm out my throat, please. How are we doing in Greenvale? <laughs> Y'all are freaks! Oh yeah, what am I doing? I got a mission knife. Ugh. It's for a mission. Okay. We got coffee! We got priorities. Where's that weird crying from coming from? Who cares? Coffee. Okay. Yeah, it had one of those sound chips built in, like a birthday card. Oh, okay. I love the melee weapons in this. The only unfortunate thing, as I said earlier, is that they break pretty easily. That's a shame. Y'all drop anything? Nah. Yeah. Don't want to die. God, every sound cue and sound effect in this game is permanently burned into my brain. This game does something to you. It makes you view every other video game in a different light. It makes you think, why isn't this game Deadly Premonition? I'm thinking that all the time. Hey, you can get some health back. You can also just take a nap, that's cool. New mission knife. For missions. I don't know, you think we should take a nap? Uh, I don't sleep really it off a little bit? We had a pretty rough day. Let's do a light sleep. Hmm. All right, we're more slept and less fed. That's how sleep works. That's I wish it true. didn't. I wish you got fed while you slept. <laughs> I mean, you can do that with an IV, but... All this trouble of having to eat all day and sleep and shower, I'm saying, we could just combine the whole thing. Life would be so much A easier. shower, you sleep in, that feeds That you, you also eat, yeah. Okay. 
The shower that eats. It cost a dollar to use the hospital phone. Payphones didn't used to cost a dollar, did they? It was just like a quarter. It was like a quarter or 50 cents, yeah. Yeah, we'll find our way. Okay. Yeah, again, th th good point. This is a town where crackers cost like 35 bucks. Yeah, <laughs> inflation out of control here in Greenvale. There's no prizes in those boxes. Sorry, honey. But you did get some honor, so... That's true. You can't put a price on Agent Honor. Actually, you can. It's $30. <laughs> I think I missed something in here. I must have, right? This seemed like progress to me. Maybe this is just a save room. Wait, is this... Oh, cool. Okay, this is one of those places where you can get unlimited items for some reason. Unlimited lollipops. Yeah, there's a place where you can get unlimited pickles, too. <laughs> I wish I could use this trick at a real candy store. That'd be great. Just always have lollipops. That's probably enough. Oh, yeah, I was right. Is anyone spooked? Are you having a spooky good time right now? I'm a little scared. It's a little bit spooky. Especially your first time through. You never know what's going to be around the next corner. That's what I liked about this game, playing through it the first time. Like, every day I would, like, wake up and think, man, I can't wait to see what stupid shit happens in this game. Games don't do that with me anymore. Yeah! Usually I'm just like, well, time to play more of this game until I get sick of it. But this, it genuinely kept me thinking and theorizing until the very end. Yeah, we need more silly open world games. I agree. You gotta have a little bit of silliness in there. Just a little. Yeah, I don't want reality. I want unreality. I want this. Put me in the spooky hospital with the the evil nurses who want to choke me. <laughs> so in your version of the game, everyone else is just kind of standing around watching York, uh flail at invisible enemies. Yeah, I, I'm wondering about that. What are what are my pals doing? I don't know. Where do they fit in with this? You got some crackers. Free crackers. Let's go. Let's see, those are expensive. Nice. And we have enough money to get more crackers. At least two. No, thank you. No, thank you. Opt out. Excuse me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Ooh, band-aids. We're pretty well stocked as far as supplies are concerned. That and since it's on easy. I'm... Yo, that's an MRI machine. Can you get in? Yeah, let's crawl on in. Let's get an MRI for fun. <laughs> I can see something shining in the back. Maybe we do have to take an MRI. Ah, fixed camera angle. They were really in on this at the very start of the game. Alright, 
Alright, see you, sneaker nets. See Have ya. a spooky good night. It's a squirrel! Oh, it's a key card. <laughs> It's a squirrel key that turned into a real squirrel, and it's mad at us. It's making monkey noises. Watch out. Oh, you can leave now. Cool. Yeah, let's get the hell out. Oh, right. All those guys I left out here. Well, that's probably fine. Let's, don't worry about it. It's just guys. It's just guys. What are they going to do? This, uh, this blood trail, huh? Actually, I think we just went backwards. Time to go through the guys again. Hey, guys. Hey, guys, I'm back. I'm kind of lost. Anyone want to... Anyone seen the entrance around here? These hospitals, you know. Okay, this is the hard part. Just kidding, there's the entrance. I was gonna say, there you go. <laughs> oh, wait, shit. Yeah. This part is really cool because they lock you in a room and then spawn in like 50 guys, okay. some of whom can shoot. So, the first time you do this ever in your life, you're probably gonna die here. You're just gonna go down in a hail of gunfire. Is that an evil, like, zombie cop? I think so. He's not wearing shoes. Why aren't the zombies wearing shoes? They don't need them. Fair, I guess. They all talked into a talk boy and then slowed it down. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Alright, the trick here is to run because they all immediately start aiming at you, and they will all fire at the same time, killing you instantly. This is a funny trick the game plays on you. Broke our knife. Damn. We got another. And you got shotgun shells. Duh! Who's shooting it? Who's shooting it, York? FBI! Special Agent Francis York Morgan! Call me York! Them? I think there's fewer of them in, in easy mode. Something made a noise. May I? Can we go now? May I please leave? <sighs> I make that face. <laughs> it's true. And that's very true. Advice for gamers. There, see? Normal. Are you smoking in a hospital? Oh, that's the part that you have issue with? Is the potato cooked? No, just raw potato. It will restore a amount of your health. Excuse me? Um. Who's that old man? That's Harry. Harry Stewart. One of the bigger problems around here. His father started up the lumber trade and founded this town. Always dressed like that. Never speaking to the townsfolk. I love that wheelchair. Owns almost the entire town. Not that that makes any difference. So long as I'm around, he won't be getting away with any funny business. He owns the whole town, but he don't own me. George. Yeah, that's very nicely cushioned. Mysterious, Mysterious capitalist. capitalist. <laughs> oh, 
Cool neck bolts. Yeah, he's Frankenstein. Mr. Francis York Moore. Haste won't lead you to what you seek. Keep your eyes focused on your footing as we speak. So says Mr. Stoop. He's got his own rhyming femboy. <laughs> nice to meet you. I wasn't gonna mention the femboyness, but Mr. Francis York Morgan, information desires you, just as you desire information too. That's a terrible so rhyme. It's really bad. <laughs> Tell Mr. Stewart to try better. Stop trying to get in our way. Keep this up, and even you'll have to answer to the law. Mr. Stewart says, eat shit. <laughs> Mr. Francis York Morgan. With each rain, our town goes mad. To our disdain, unpreventable. So sad. That so sucks! <laughs> wow, that sucked. <laughs> then we shall depart, Mr. Francis York Morgan. He's polite. Just let him just just let him do his thing. That's how he always is. Always spouting that nonsense. Don't give it any thought. It's all gibberish. Emily here. Uh huh. Oh. Okay, thank you, Thomas. What did Thomas say about me? York, we've contacted the first witnesses to the crime scene. You can interview them where they found the dead body. Excellent. I was hey, just finger about guns. To ask if you could take me there. Making pretty good progress on this case. We investigated the body. We're forming uh, some theories about what happened. Mm -hmm. And we're about to investigate the crime scene. Ooh. Don't worry about the stuff at the hospital. Yeah, it's fine. I'd like if he tried to explain it like, yeah, they wanted me to put, uh, they wanted me to be in these action sequences sometimes because they said it's a video game, so. <laughs> yeah, these just have to be there. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Look at that guy's mouth! That's a fair, fairly popular fish everywhere. It's not just Greenville. Hey, the, the, the thing says spy fiction. Yeah. All the cars have unique license plates. It's the <laughs> so you're in the spy fiction car. Yeah. Previous game by the, the director of this. That does sound fantastic. Show me the sights. Show me the sights! Let's go! Let's go to the carnival! promised to be there by 1800 to interview the first witnesses to the crime scene. 1800, eh? I'm gonna grill him. What were you the night of the murder? <laughs> Why'd you kill Anna? I do it without the boah, but yeah, don't boah. That's, that's we do uh... we do police business different, me and Alex. Mm -hmm. Agent Morgan. I could just give you a friendly warning. Are you really upset about me taking a... <clears throat> if I could warn I you, just you keep your eyes on the road while we talk to you. Command. Please drive good. I'm not disputing FBI authority, but this is our town. You won't get far alone, and you gain nothing by antagonizing me. It was fun. <laughs> I just do things my way. I can take you off the case if you wish. Stop it, you two. We need to solve this case, not bicker among ourselves. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the smile at the end. Oh, all these years later, the smile still works on me. That beautiful York smile. It's so genuine. Ah, oh, where the fuck are we going? Oh yeah, we're going out to investigate the crime scene have to leave the hospital that's all like buried in the forest yeah that's the problem we uh oh there's a there's a racetrack here i suppose oh, we, thank might as, God. we might as well y'all two don't mind if i go on a little uh side quest do you you see the big glowing mark near the hospital that's where we're gonna start and then we're gonna go 90 miles an hour down the road 
good turn. I like to use the environment to my advantage. That's fair. Anna's body was discovered by the woodsman Jim Green, along with his two grandchildren, woodsman. Isaac and Isaiah. What were they doing in the forest? Just their daily routine. They found Anna's body during a morning walk. So you've talked to them already? Not officially. Not yet. Are you out of your mind? You haven't interviewed them yet? You haven't interviewed them yet? It's hardly appropriate. We were given orders to wait for you to arrive. Orders by who? A man called Abrams from the FBI. Robert is it? No, Bob Abrams. They tell him to stay out of it. It's always tough to have a meddling boss, huh, Zach? I thought you knew, Agent Morgan. Don't worry about it. We, we have fun, honey. Oh, yeah. Statements, but we got all the information we need. I can fill you in right now if you'd like. Thanks, George. But oh, I, I see the restart. I want to hear the details. I think I'll skip it, actually. Okay, so. that's fair. First hand. We have business. I just can't believe that the children had to witness the crime scene. They may be traumatized. You'd better do this carefully. Don't tell me you get nervous talking to children, Emily. Not at all. That's that's not what I meant. Then what did you mean? Uh, Keeping them on their toes by setting off the siren. You wouldn't talk to children, would you, Emily? Children. <laughs> hmm. Well. This is a long ways away. I wonder if the police station is on the way, because right now in the uh, UI on the main town screen, it says that it's lunchtime and it uh -huh. is important to have lunch with the cops. Is it? It is. Okay. Hey, Sasquatchulus. Uh, how's it go with the coffee? Uh... Hey, Sass, welcome. You ever play this one? This game's great. This is a fantastic video game. Danny's crashing the car a lot. I just want breakfast. Yeah, me too. It's because I'm hangry. Yeah, after stream, I'm going to have some peanut butter. I'm really excited. <laughs> what? Peanut butter is so good. I'm not just eating a... Like, just putting my hand in and eating peanut butter. I'm going to put it on a <laughs> on a piece of, uh, of, of Norwegian gluten-free oat bread. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine, then. That's socially yeah, it's like acceptable. it's like a giant seed cracker. It's, it's very red-wall-coated. You're not just eating a big glob of peanut butter. I should, though. That stuff's so good. It eats like a meal. It does! George Washington Carver was totally right. Peanuts kick ass. <laughs> Direct quote. Direct quote. Yeah, we're, we're taking... We're taking a sudden left here so we can go have lunch okay. with our police friends we got to be friends with them we got to get on their side we took over the whole case they probably hate us we got to make amends with biscuits it's an emergency okay but an ice cream scoop of peanut butter sounds amazing have you ever mixed in peanut butter and ice cream it's so good it is. God damn, I love peanut butter. I never even thought about it until now. It's one of my favorite foods. Alex has a hankering. I do. I was just thinking about it. Like, a lot of the food, like, the, 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 I bought an oat bar the other day that was peanut butter flavored, and then I have, like, breakfast bars that are peanut butter. My God, I've got peanut butter on the brain forever, and my, I, I prefer smooth peanut butter. I should call you the peanut butter gamer. Isn't that a real person? Yeah, it's already taken. Okay, damn. Peanut butter and oatmeal, I've never had that, but that sounds amazing. I need that. Aha! I found it. Let's have lunch with our new friends. Okay. That's how you become friends. You gotta forge that friendship around a dinner table. It's like a blacksmith's anvil. Okay. You gotta smack your friends with an anvil. Got it. Exactly. Agent Morgan. How much longer do you want to keep it? Hmm? Zach, so we'll finish our chat later. Let's take a walk around here. I think they get mad if you get out of the car. If you're wandering off, then we'll go on ahead. We don't have time to mess around. Okay. I got plenty of time to mess around. Yeah, we love messing around. We only have until 1800 to talk with the witnesses to the crime scene, okay? But we only have till 1300 to eat dinner. So let's go eat freaking dinner. I think they teleport back here when it's dinner time. They know it's what's important. Good, good. Anyone who played this ever run out of gas? It really sucks. <laughs> if you don't have a flare, you have to run back to the gas station. 
Boo. Alright, what's everybody eating? <laughs> wow! Alex? <laughs> yeah, I don't know about the muscle guy and the flowers on his desk. Okay then, backs away slowly. <laughs> oh, hey. A lot of awards. We found George's room. Ah! <laughs> Christ. Looking good. Hmm? Zach, look at this. Oh, now this is something special. <laughs> Office. Perfect. A stuffed deer's head on the wall. A flag, a hunting rifle. A hunting rifle. Amazing. You'd never see a hunting rifle on the wall of a police department in the city. That's just amazing. Wonder if the sheriff would ever let me shoot it. Francis, are you okay? Call him York. Okay, York, are you okay? I'd have the same reaction if it was me. Wow, a hunting rifle. Awesome. Can I shoot it? Can I shoot the gun? Thomas! Sashay over here, please. <laughs> Thomas! What's up? You gonna eat? Oh my god, it's long. <laughs> oh, it's, he's having lunch. It's lunchtime with Thomas. Yeah, I'd fuck him. Man, oh, burn. I see, I see. Hello. I would love to have lunch with you. Thomas's Thank special you lunch. Cooking, Thomas. <laughs> Thank you. Good, wholesome cooking like this in the workplace every day. George, you've got the good life here. I've been cooking here every day since I started. This is the good life. How about your cooking, Emily? <gasps> oh, her cooking is pretty good. But it isn't for two-legged animals. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Deadly silence. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Finish up. We need to meet the twins over at the forest park. That's right. Agent We're Moore. losing it. That's enough for today. We've lost it. Stop your giggling and let's get back on track. Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Two legged animals. <laughs> tell this guy about furries. And that fills up all your meters. All right, now we gotta get around to actually doing the case, I suppose. Boo. We'll do this part before calling it quits. I think we made a good headway into the investigation. I think Got so a too. lot done for the first day of this. This will take multiple streams, and believe me, it will ramp up. The whole open world hasn't even opened up. At the start of the game, you can't go anywhere, you can't do anything. It basically just railroads you to the first few quests, but... Once it opens up and you can start visiting places on your own, it's so good. Not to say this first part isn't great, <laughs> you know? The whole breakfast and lunch and eating biscuits and the crazy hospital and... I want that, I want that biscuit. It would be so good with peanut butter. Alex is peanut butter brained. I'm peanut butter pilled and proud. Did they take the car? Yeah, they were like, fuck it. I needed that. Well, find another car. There should be another one. <laughs> okay. Police station. There's a car. Can I have this one? All right. Back on the road with our buddy Zach. Heading on out. <laughs> Excuse me. I knew that was a fence. This bad, this quote-unquote bad driving uh, is like 80% unintentional. <laughs> we have a suspect. We gotta tail that guy. Huh. 
Tremors. I think Fred Tremors. Ward is in it. Mm -hmm. You say Fred Ward, and I say Remo Williams, The Adventure Begins. <laughs> of course. That one was back in 85, I think. Directed by Guy Hamilton. I guess Hamilton was aiming to start a series like 007, but it had no sequels. A real shame. Do you remember the martial arts they used in that film? Called Sinanju? The ultimate in martial arts, using no weapons at all. Suspect has entered the building. Chun ran across water, remember? And he loved soap operas. Man, that was a good character. He was played by Joel Grey, the best supporting actor in Cabaret. Of course, in Remo, he had so much makeup on you couldn't tell. So the suspect is just hanging out? Let's go meet him. Like we said, everyone's a suspect. We gotta meet everyone in this town. Some of them oh. we don't know yet, and those guys show up as suspect. Well, just do as you please. We can head to the forest later. It's always time for the time. forest. Let's meet and greet. I, that chocolate chip cookie is way too thick. I'm sorry. What? Whose house is this? <laughs> I don't know. You are the one who's picking up their brain stabilizers. I don't think you should take strangers' brain stabilizers. They need that to stabilize their brain. Look, this is a this is a community Honey. we all share here. Honey, you're walking in a random person's house. Yeah, FBI. I don't think the FBI can do that. I think they need a search warrant still. But what do I know? <laughs> you're not Special Agent Francis. You're That's Morgan. true. Hmm. Oh, is this the mom's house? But a dude went in here. Wait a minute, that seems pretty suspicious to me. You're a mom, but there's a dude? Hang on. We'll get to the bottom of this. Oh no, lady, watch out, it's the MILF hunter. There's a sc <laughs> He's got a gun. <laughs> Help, we got lost. <laughs> Fair. There's a murder happening right now. <laughs> Imagine you're just out there hunting Mills and you get caught up in a murder. That sucks. Ooh. Hey, ma'am. She seems to be crying. She probably heard what I said. I'm sorry. Ma'am, there's a MILF hunter on the loose. <laughs> oh, no. oh, yeah, it is her mom. Awkward. No. Don't leave me. <laughs> we shouldn't have broken into her house, huh? You there. Do you know where Anna is? Anna. My dear Anna. Zach, let's do this later. I don't think we'll get anything out of her like this. Okay, we've established a suspect. And this means she has a side quest. I'd like to ask you some questions about Anna. Anna. Oh, why did she have to die? She was so happy, so full of life. Anna, she loved that dress in the picture so much. She looked so pretty in it, but now she won't be able to wear it again. Yes, that dress. I can't find that dress anywhere. That dress? Her dress. Did we stumble Where into it on, on accident? I bet it's in that closet. I bet. She She was the prettiest girl in town that night. So why did she? Where's that dress? Where? <laughs> Her model collapsed into the couch. <laughs> Holy shit! She imploded. Where's the dress? So this game has something like 60 or 70 different side quests that are accomplished during various chapters at various times of the day with various people. A lot of this game involves going back in time to previous chapters to try to figure out uh, side quests, which mm -hmm. unlock ones later on. But this one, I think the solution actually is upstairs. Hey, the dress is in the dress closet. Look, Zach. It's a picture taken during her prom night. There are no other pictures of Anna in a dress. This blue dress here, then, must be the one Sally is looking for. She does look like a goddess. Sally was right. She sure is pretty. That smile would make any man turn to God. 
equal eyes. I want to be butter. Alex, how do I become butter? You got to get churned. <laughs> Who out there is an experienced butter churner? I need my butter churned. Uh, like the fucking uh, closet was downstairs or something, right? Yeah, it was in some random place. Yeah, I heard oh, this. there you go. Zach, this is it. This is the same dress as the one in the prom. Is this really gonna help? Let's take it to Sally. Will this put her in a better mood to actually see the dress? I don't think so. What the? Who are you? Hey, Cowboy Tim. I'm it's Cowboy Tim. Tim. Agent Francis York Morgan. So Anna was killed. But why does that bring the FBI here? He's a what darts bar done? employee. I have an interest in murder cases. You ever go to a darts bar? Women. Well, you know, no, man, have you? Like no. I'm terrified of being hit by a dart. That seems like a really bad idea, oh, yeah. Yeah. This lightly, like it's just another case. I never take anything of this nature lightly, I assure you. I'm here to apprehend the perpetrator who did this. Yeah, because local enforcement can't shine their own boots, right? Good point. Can't always count on the police now. Right, fuck the police. But that doesn't mean you're going to capture the perpetrator yourself. <laughs> I like how quickly you went along with right. that. How do you know huh? my name? I memorized the name of every citizen before arriving in town. That I is also unusual. Know about you and your significant other. You mean Becky? Don't underestimate the FBI. We know and see everything. I'm sorry if I was a little harsh. I want to help, I do. Okay? <laughs> Fuck the police, not okay, me though. Zach, I'll tell you how I knew his name. He's got a small Q on his hat. That was the only name beginning with Q that I could think of. <laughs> Lucky guess. Enough to tell us his girlfriend's name. I can read him like a book, Zach. We got him. We got him right where we want him. Mm -hmm. You killed Anna, didn't you? Answer me. Wow, she's drinking a lot. Answer me. Cut it out. Well, okay. I guess you're all right. You should shoot her beer bottles and then be like, stop drinking. That'll fix it. <laughs> that could be arranged. You can't shoot her beer bottles. Cut it out. Okay, I, I, I didn't think that was breakable. Look at this gourmet hot dog he made for himself. That's a pretty good looking hot dog. Can you shoot it? This game needs destructible environments. I agree. I did. Or the fucking dumbbell. <laughs> dumbbell. Found Arnold Schwarzenegger's dumbbell. You want it? Uh, this, is, this is it? The dress. She was pumping iron the day of the prom. She was going to be the most muscular girl at prom. Yeah, this helped. Sally, we found the dress. So please tell me more about Anna. Oh. She was such a good girl. She was the most beautiful girl in town. With pretty blonde hair. Everyone around her just loved her. On the night of the murder, was Anna at home? Yes, I, I think so. You think so? Uh, that day. The day she died. I stayed over at a friend's place. The thing I like about this is that this is something you can I just do at any time. And you don't have to actually do to beat the game. Going around and grilling suspects when you have the opportunity like this. So, in other words, you have no idea. Very open ended. I appreciate it. That's yeah, I like that. She wasn't the kind of girl that would walk around at night. She was always dancing, dancing under the sun. Yes, <laughs> under the pouring sunshine. Like this. Yeah, this really helped her mental state, York. Good job. I think we've done a good thing today. Zach, look. A key from Anna's dress. Oh my God. Maybe we can use this to get into Anna's room. Sorry, Sally, but we're going to have to take a look in there. It worked out. Okay. One side quest down. Yeah, this is what happens when you steal brain stabilizer shacks. <laughs> True. She needed that. 
must be something out of place in there. Well, we got another side quest and we can immediately finish it, so why not? Okay. This game kicks Heavy Rain's ass, I'm just gonna say it. No, <laughs> they both I'm, came I'm... out at around the same time, they cover similar matter, and this game just fucking wipes the floor with it. In terms of being interesting, in terms of it even, even being more sensical. So, patrons, y'all made the right choice picking yeah, this thank one. thank you. Heavy Rain is pretty funny, but this is more of a... More of a gaming icon, in my opin opinion. Why does she have a, f a photo of herself in her room? You gonna judge a dead girl, Alex? Yeah. Yeah, shoot the portrait. <laughs> Ooh. What the? Think it's drugs? Cigarettes! Disgusting. You know, Zach, in this wonderful country of ours, there are no good old fashioned towns left. None at all. Just, just because she smoked cigarettes? That's so strange. No towns left with non smoking girls. Day one. It's Fr Francis York Today Morgan, you smoke like a syrup. chimney. Why are you so judgy? <laughs> day two. The first time he used it on me, it was so amazing. So exhilarating. Day three. He doesn't let anything slip. I'm really worried about Becky. Day four. Mmm, Becky, huh? Delivery Where have you heard that name? You won't be able to protect Becky. So that's the last page written. It's very interesting. You can learn a lot from a diary. So we have this unnamed he, Becky, and this delivery man Q. I think delivery man Q is right downstairs. Yeah, I think we know who he is. Well, if he's still here and hasn't yet uh, moved on with his day, we can actually talk to him right now. Isn't this convenient? Hey, hat man. <laughs> That's depressing. <laughs> oh, I disappeared. Alex, where'd you go? Oh, I'm my Discord icon now. Alex, come back. Hold on. I'm shaving. I'm shaving in morning. I'm, I'm shaving in morning. I'm back. Morning of a uh, anagram. Okay, good. Hello. Hold on, I have to disconnect and reconnect the call. Not too clean, I must say, for a dead girl's bathroom. I'm not saying I noticed, but I noticed. You! Q-Man! Hmm. You're thinking? I'm back! Cut it out. He's thinking. He did it. Sorry. <laughs> You've already quit drinking at the table, lady. No way. I didn't mean to pull my gun. I just wanted to zoom in. I didn't want to fucking point a gun at her. I'm sorry. I'll leave. <laughs> okay. Root beer wouldn't recover quite a bit lot of tiredness because root beer famously doesn't have a ton of caffeine in it. It's Barks. Barks only has 22 milligrams of caffeine. That's like... Barks has bite. That's barely a bite. That's a gentle nibble. <laughs> Prime drinks have like 280 milligrams of caffeine or some shit like that. Well, that was fun. This whole town is full of stuff like that. Depending on the time of day, you can accomplish these side quests just as a matter of course as you go about your business doing other things. It's very... Uh, it lets you... Make your own timetable and makes you keep things in mind as you investigate the town and you just go off your instincts and be like, I should go look over here. You should. For now, let's go do what George says and head off to the woods to look at the body, or rather where it was found. It's like up here or something. Fuck, it's way the hell out of here. George! 
Uh, all right. Well, have you seen any good movies lately? Uh, have you heard of Tremors? <laughs> I have. So have I. Good. Fucking, oh, God. I will not cope with this tunnel. You know what I saw the other day on Topic? Uh-huh, uh-huh. I saw Little Shop of Horrors. Have you never seen it before? I'd never seen it before. Oh. Was saw it the 80s version? It was the 80s version yes! with Rick Moranis. who yes! has an inc so good! Rick Moranis has an incredible set of pipes. Holy shit. Doesn't he sound amazing? That's one of my favorite movies of all time. Oh, my God. Jennifer Grey. She's in one of my most Very glad I didn't see that as a kid. It would have fucked me up. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, it fucked me up as a kid, too. You saw way. it as a kid. All right. That makes a lot of sense. Not only did I see it as a kid, but my parents were in multiple productions of it. My dad played Mushnik. Suddenly. Oh, man. He played Mushnik. Yeah. He was a great Mushnik. He was Mushnik in a bunch of productions. He got fed to the plant. Yeah. He totally got fed to the plant. And fast times at Ridgemont High. That last one was in 1982, directed by Amy Hecker. Mm -hmm. That was an impressive film. You've got Sean Penn in the lead. Oh, with Sean Penn, you can't lose. Thank you, Eyes V, for the raid. We are playing Deadly Premonition, and we're on our way to see a dead body. You want to see a dead body? <laughs> hey, Eyes V, how was your stream? Hope you had a good one. Do you remember that? When that movie ended, the last words, the end was from an arcade game. I freaking love this game. If you've never seen this game before, we're currently in the opening hours. It hasn't started to start to get really good yet, but it will soon. Let's just hope we can get to the end of this case soon. Let's hope so. We can catch up on a few. Give some thought about what movie you want to see next, Zach. Mostly, we've just been uh, talking about movies and uh, getting lost in hospitals. Yeah. Side quest time. Oh, and stealing brain stabilizers. Yeah, that too. It's time to meet a new resident. I think you'll like this guy. You from out of town? I ain't seen you here before. Jack the Raging Bull. Oh, God. I'm Francis York Morgan, FBI Special Agent. Look at that hair. I'm investigating the death of Anna Grant. Do you have any info on Anna or any suspicious individuals? I ain't got nothing to tell the cops. What about the FBI? Shut up. <laughs> Please give me your name. I'm Jack. They call me Raging Bull. That's a manly nickname. <laughs> shut it. If you're a customer, act like one and shut the mouth. <laughs> Can we talk? A Ben Franklin or two. Okay. What? No, come back out. I miss you. No, no, come back out. I want to see you again. Oh. Danny. Her transition went great. <laughs> so fast. Good job. Oh, I've never seen you here before. You in town to see some sights? Oh. Oh, okay, okay. What's your name? I'm Gina. Folks call me the Rose. I'm Francis York Morgan, FBI Special Agent. I'm investigating the death of Anna Grant. FBI? Wow, how cool. And, ooh, I like that scar. Do you have any info on Anna or any suspicious? Everybody wants to know about the scar. Oh, they sure do. I hate that complex stuff. Let's have a more simple conversation. Simple? Yeah. Do you want gas or not? Hmm. <laughs> One gas, please. <laughs> no oh, idea. Okay. No idea what you're trying to say here, Normal. lady. Let's get a car wash. How come the car wash is cheaper than a lollipop? <laughs> G 
good car wash. All right. Okay, that's why I was at like 14.99. You only have 19% gas. Yeah, me. we do need some gas. Might as well. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, that now I'm okay. I'm okay now. Interesting bunch of people who live in this town. I think it's random who you get every time you pull up to the gas station. And I think uh, Jack is the one who has the uh, the side quest. Maybe we'll meet him here. Okay. Nope, it's her again. What kind of innuendo was that? <laughs> I don't know. Go back to the drawing board, lady. <laughs> Go back to innuendo school. Just wanted to scare him a little bit. I saw a trading card. How much is gas here? Four, three, nineteen. Oh, that's actually that's actually pretty close to how it is now. Mm -hmm. I think it's a sexy lady. It's Gina what? Sponge. It's her sponge. Her famous sponge. The famous sexual sponge. <laughs> oh, come on. It was a little horny. No idea what you're talking about. Okay, fair enough. Actually, we're getting pretty close to this place, so might as well just head there. You see how you get lost in this game, though? You start to do something, and then you see something that catches your eye, and you're like, ooh, I should go check this out. And instead of it being nothing, like in every other video game, it's actually something that opens up if you poke it a little bit. Not to talk like Gina. I was gonna say, Deadly Premonition, the game that loves you to poke it. <laughs> okay, so I've been thinking about what movie I'd like to watch next, and finally I've made a decision. It's always hard to narrow it down just to one movie. Okay, but that's I'm true. Sure that's my problem. Is. Yeah. And I'm sure you'll agree with me. 1975. Ah, the Super Mario Brothers movie. Spielberg himself, the grandfather of Panic movies, set in a small town in Massachusetts. That movie made me stay away from the beach for years. I was always afraid that a hand might come floating up. You know what I'm talking about, right? Jaws. It's Jaws. I saw that for the first time a few years ago. That's such a good movie. It's great. I'd never been that scared by a movie before. But the best thing about it is that it isn't just another panic movie. It isn't just be a panic movie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Close the beach, even when there are so many victims. Chief Brody putting the citizens' lives above all else. The film gave a lot of time to the dispute and friction between them. It did. It certainly had a lot of messages for a two-hour film. It did. That's probably another reason why it was such a record-breaking hit. This guy doesn't talk about movies like nerds talk about movies. He talks about themes and shit. Mm -hmm. I guess I was still just a child back then. He's not talking about the cinema sin. Yeah. <laughs> Really inaccurate shark action in that movie. Jaws also appears in another movie that was produced by Spielberg. A second Back to the Future. I remember that. It was directed by Robert Zemeckis, who later made Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump shout out. Masterpiece, of course, but I disagree about that one. See where Jaws appears. It's right after Marty McFly goes 30 years into the future. That's true. He passes by a movie theater and is attacked by a holographic shark. Marty is shocked, of course, but looking closer, he sees the words. Jaws Part 19. The director is credited as Steven Spielberg Jr. S. Spielberg. In reality, there were actually only four Jaws movies. It was still a great Jaws. Why don't they make another Jaws movie? They made another Indiana Jones. Why haven't they made a new Back to the Future? We'll be there pretty soon. God, don't give them, okay, don't give them ideas about that. You know that a million assholes have tried to remake Back to the Future. <laughs> Something's stopping them, and whatever it is, I appreciate it. Anyway, I was really excited to watch uh, the end of uh, Little Shop of Horrors because watching that, I was like, oh, that's where all the four came from. That's why everyone's into that. Turns out, I watched the original cut, which hadn't been seen for decades. <gasps> oh, my God. You watched the original cut? And, oh, my God, the ending of that is incredible. It's psycho. I watched it, and I thought, this is what it gave everyone a war finish. But no, no one actually saw that shit. <laughs> it just... I have to keep con uh, searching for the... Was that the original cut with Don't Feed the Plants? Yes. Oh, it was sick! A, if you're unaware, uh, the movie bombed with test audiences and they had to reshoot an entire new ending, so they chopped off the last half hour and replaced it with something 
much more uh, apparently less interesting. More family friendly. Basically, he saves the city and yeah. Yeah, the the original ending very different and very incredible. That whole sequence that apparently took five million dollars to film of the plants just eating an entire city is just yeah. That was amazing. I was like, holy fuck, I would have been freaking out back then. Yeah, but why? no, people didn't have that experience at all. They just saw something completely different, which I still haven't seen. I haven't seen the original ending. It's all right. I mean, it's... I, I get what you mean, though. It's a big, sexy plant guy it's with so, huge, it's huge so, sexy lips. It's so fucking cool. I know, right? That oh. ending, it apparently only got fully discovered and remastered like a decade ago. What's funny is that all the original like merch that came, the trading cards that came out for uh, the, the the movie, which I used to collect, mm -hmm. they they only featured the "Don't Feed the Plants" ending. Oh featured... man! So so I was looking at this thing with all these like I'm like, why is this head in a plant? Is this the way the FBI treats their own people? Hello, George. I just had some things I had to do. It's true. You really are pushing it. You know that? I'm sorry if I upset you, but it was important stuff to me. That isn't the issue here. We are in the middle of a homicide investigation. He's not listening, George. I think we both know by now how little he thinks of other people's feelings. I'll be more careful from now. I promise. Facts are more important than feelings. Francis York Morgan. Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please hey. call me York. Though even without the ending, knowing that kids watched that movie hey, back then, and there's so many... <laughs> So many people I know nowadays who are the way they are. It makes sense, though, right? It makes sense. It makes sense. He's a seductive little guy. I really love the scene with uh, Bill Murray and uh, uh, Steve Martin. <laughs> that yeah. was that was the gayest thing ever committed to film. It was incredible. Wasn't it though? Yes, my grandchildren, Isaac. People I was watching that with were like, "Yeah, I saw this as a kid. Didn't even occur to me." <laughs> but seeing it now, oh my god. Oh yeah, totally made me gay. See that? Twins. Like the movie. Just like in my dream. We got Starring Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> and Danny DeVito. I'm sorry. Could we talk away from the boys? I want to help your investigation, but I don't want them to hear this. Very well. Emily. <laughs> don't know what it did in my case. It did something to a lot of people. <laughs> and now I have that context. Don't do anything without asking me. These children were the first to witness the crime scene. I want to talk to them. Come on, they're just kids. They have no idea what really happened to Anna. That doesn't matter. You agree with me, right, Zach? How heartless. Do you ever think of other people's feelings, ever? Emily's right. That's stone cold. Even for the sake of investigation, children see things in pure, simple terms. I say we grill them. They may have seen something we adults would never spot. And they are here at our request as well. True. We could at least chat with them and see if they want to make a statement. Are you serious? I never joke about matters like this. Oh His fucking smile His every smile time. Me. Don't worry. It's such a good punchline. They're, they're sitting. Don't worry about it. Man, we're really getting into the spirit of this game. We're talking about old stupid movies. <laughs> Anna, she was so pretty. She had a red dress on. Her hair was shiny. Bright gold hair. There were lots of animals around her. Wow. Weasel and a snake. Weasels? A snake. Weasels? Were they southern flying squirrels? We know now. Anna was the fairy of the forest. She was a goddess. She smiled when she saw us. She looked so happy. That's right, Isaac. I say it. She was a fairy. she is. Yeah, of course. Most useful information, boys. Well, Emily, you can take them now. Very useful, children. Thank you. Hey, we saw a snake. And, and a, a weasel. weasel. And a weasel. Okay, Zach. This is where Anna's body was. God, I wish they'd talk about subject. Rover Dangerfield. <laughs> Our subject was here, too. You don't want to hear him get started about Don Bluth. What happened here? Between Don Bluth and Little Shop of Horrors, mm -hmm. the way the world ended up is starting to make a lot more sense to me. What happened?
happened here? I don't think he talks about movies he hates. Come to think of it, yeah, he only talks about stuff he likes. What a pleasant change from how most uh, interaction goes about movies. I like the font here. I'm going to smoke all over this crime scene. <laughs> Just blow smoke so all over those kids. I'm alive with pleasure, unlike Anna. Sorry, working some rough chuckles over here at the FBI place. Oh, 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 did you see the way your poncho appeared? That's cool. Oh, yeah, it must have started raining. FBI legally mandated poncho. Oh, we have a crime scene here. Let's go ahead and investigate. And since that's what we do. Hey, you, bird nest. Eat the eggs. Bird nest, you're flashing suspiciously. Aha! You were supposed to shoot it? Yeah. And it's a stiletto heel, interestingly. Okay. We'll wait on the profiling. Seems like there's something right in front of the tree, too. I can see what people mean about uh, the, the shifts in tone. <laughs> Seconds ago, we were talking about Back to the Future, and now it's like, oh yeah, this lady was ritualistically killed or something. It's the birds! The birds are doing the murders. They're trying to cover it up, too. Sorry, just the way you shoot those birds' nests is really funny to me. I think it launched itself uphill. It did. How do I get that? It did! How do I... Well, I hope that's not an item we need. Oh, I... Birds are taking trading cards, too. And it's the trading card of the murdered girl. I really think the birds did it. The Birds, directed by Alfred Hitchcock. Classic movie. About birds. It looks like you can walk up that way. Two bent pieces of grass. We observed in the rain. I think we're starting to put this together. You see, I can go around. Yeah, look at that. Okay. There you go, yeah. Trusty mission knife. So now that you've seen a good few hours of this game, what do you think? I love this. Isn't it amazing? This is fantastic, and I wish more games were like this. It starts off so unsure of itself, and so, like, it just seems like it's going to be a shitty game. And then it just keeps going and talking and doing things, and it's... Oh, it's so good. Wood chips. A hamster was here. See, Heavy Rain has a guy like this, but he has a crime computer and VR glasses. Really? <laughs> yeah, he accesses his database through the VR realm. <laughs> These holes on the ground were made by uh, high stiletto heels all around here. And this depression here, Agent Morgan? Yeah, don't use the VR too much. I it's addictive. Here. have a vivid imagination. An interesting theory. Don't you think, Zach? And what was his name again? That Hollywood producer. That's right. Joel. We really ought to introduce George to him. 
Adams actor. Joel Schumacher? Yeah, what? Would he like Batman and Robin? Profiling is a little different from writing a screenplay, though. An idea being interesting doesn't make it fact. Oh, it's always the time for York. Footprints. <laughs> he is always on his bullshit. This reminds me of Joel Schumacher. We saw at the office. Shoes. Schumacher. Ah. evidence if he did kneel and do as you suggested. If you want proof, go ahead and try for yourself. He knelt here for a reason other than simple perversion. Zach, what was he doing in front of Anna? Praying. Duh. See, you get it. You could be a realistic murder. Yeah. You, you could be a criminal profiler. Unsub. <laughs> he unsubbed to Retro Pals. Let's arrest him. is a third party here. She's not the murderer. No one runs away from an object of worship. She could be another victim who was with her. Or perhaps an accomplice who fled for some reason. This just opens up more questions. She is also one who took whatever it was Anna was holding on to in her hand. Rin, thanks for the raid! Thank you! Welcome to Deadly Premonition. Welcome to Greenvale. Hope you had a good stream. What were you up to? Only Miss Stiletto Heels knows the reason. Have you played this? You need to play this. This game is amazing. How many women wear high stiletto heels in this town, do you think? Oh, Name them all. I should think most of them have at least one pair. Yeah, it's pretty normal, dude. I do too, before you ask. But nobody would come all the way out here wearing them, except, well, except maybe one person. Oh, standalone complex. That game looks cool. Don't keep me in the dark, then. Who might this elegant lady be? If you like PS2 games, uh, this game looks an awful lot like one. Mm -hmm. But she's out of town for a big art auction. Just have to give her a warm welcome home. A more immediate matter. Sort of like a PS2 game with like really detailed character models, but PS2 quality everything else. That isn't used anymore, with either a lot of metal or metal machinery or something like that. Oh, I forgot it was caviar. Hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Working in the licensed mines, dreaming of one day making your best game ever near, and then you make it and shut down. Ain't that how it goes. Mm hmm Well, we found some evidence here. We made some theories. There's another woman wearing stiletto heels. A woman who was murdered. Someone was kneeling to pray to her. There was snakes and birds and weasels, according to the twins. Mm hmm I think it was the weasels. They had all the, they were hiding all the shit in their nests. Yeah, that's true. We shot down like three bird's nests that all had evidence in them. One had a trading card for the dead girl. Which, sickle behavior if you ask me. We gotta, we gotta start grilling these birds around here. But, I think that's a good point to leave off. 
now that you have plenty of questions in your mind, now that you've uh, met a lot of the residents of Greenvale, we'll meet many more in the coming streams. No idea when we're going to stream this next. Maybe Friday? Friday might be a good day to continue this, so look forward to that tentatively. Friday, 8 p.m., we will continue Deadly Premonition. The game's getting good. We got past the, the rough intro that everyone hates to, <laughs> to suffer through when they first play this, but man, it's so good. Stick with this one, folks. It's, it's, it's super good. All right, I'm going to look for a raid target. Alex, why don't you wrap us up? Okay, uh, if you'd like to support us directly, you can support us on Patreon. That is, hold on, it's been so well since I've done this, I'm a little off Patreon.com. Patreon.com slash RetroPals. Pitching at least five bucks a month. You can um, vote on what we play every Wednesday. You wanted to play, uh, wanted to see us play Deadly Premonition, and by God, we're playing it. So definitely check us out there for all uh, that good stuff. We also have YouTube, youtube.com slash RetroPals. We post full-length highlights of our streams there. Our latest is our uh, Patron Request Gauntlet Part 3. We play a fuck ton of games in that one. It's over six hours of gaming, so if you want to see a lot of RetroPals and Andy Cap, he makes an appearance, do, do check out <laughs> our uh, YouTube channel. The Last origins week. of the, the RetroPals obsession with Andy Cap coming. God damn. <laughs> all, all in that stream archive. We also have a Discord. Let me just pull, plop that link in the chat there. Uh, at our Discord, you can talk to about games, you can talk about media, and of course, you can talk about your cool pets, who we love. We love your pets. We love them. We want to give them hugs. Pets are good. And kisses sometimes. We also have a co-host. Let me just drop that link in the chat, co-host.org slash RetroPals. We post when we go live there when we've got new videos up on YouTube and all that good stuff, so follow us there for the RetroPals news you can use. Yeah, do that if you would. Do that. I would appreciate it. All right, we're taking a rare opportunity to raid Lord BBH, who usually starts upstream a lot later after we do, but here we go. Let's invade him. Yeah, yeah. He's playing Wizard Fire, a.k.a. Dark Seal 2, a uh, fantasy-themed beat-em-up from Data East. It's Data East. That's all you need to know, so go cheer him on. Have a good rest of your evening. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching. See ya, folks.